Chapter 1821 Viciously Killing Translator Born to be Long Chen was truly angry. This ancient race idiot had scared away all the scarlet blood spirit fish. With their intelligence and wariness, they wouldn't fall for it a second time. He had already previously ruined this for Long Chen, and now he had brought over so many experts. Long Chen's chances of obtaining more scarlet blood spirit fish were essentially zero now. The righteous expert had already been slain, his blood scattering to the lake. The scarlet blood spirit fish were extremely sensitive to this, and they fled to the caves at the bottom of the lake, refusing to come out. Now that things had reached this point, Long Chen no longer had any misjivings. Killing intent surged in his eyes. This birdman had ruined his plans. The ancient race expert spread his wings, and light erupted in the sky. It was unknown what divine ability he used, but his wings grew explosively, tearing through the void. However, they had just spread when a lightning hand grabbed one of them. The ancient race expert let out a miserable cry as his wing was torn right off by Long Chen. Still holding his bloody wing, Long Chen coldly said, Did you think your speed was unmatched? I want to see how you fly once I tear off both of your wings. Long Chen tossed the wing into the air and smashed it apart with his fist. Lightning flashed, and he vanished. The ancient race expert endured the pain of having his wing torn off. His wings were where he activated his divine abilities from. Tearing one off was like tearing a piece of his soul away. He summoned his manifestation, and a new wing grew. But his expression changed as Long Chen vanished. His remaining wing lit up. But before he could move, Long Chen's hand reached out, grabbing it and tearing it off. The ancient race expert cried out painfully once again. If Long Chen tore off his arms or legs, he wouldn't shout. But these wings were deeply connected to his soul. It felt like his soul was being torn apart. However, just as he was screaming, that scream was cut off like a knife had severed it. Long Chen's hand was clutching his throat, holding him like a chicken. Just at this moment, a mass of over 20 experts charging over came to a sudden stop. Amongst them were people from the Righteous Path, the Ancient Family Alliance, the Ancient Races, and the Xuan Beasts. When Long Chen had slain the first Righteous Expert, they had been a bit shocked. However, the Ancient Race experts had rallied them, saying that they could kill Long Chen instantly if they joined forces. After all, he was the enemy of all of them. If over 20 Empyreans attacked at the same time, they would definitely be able to heavily injure Long Chen. It would then make him vulnerable to other experts. Once he was forced away, they would also have a chance to obtain the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish. Although this was risky, the enticement of the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish was great enough for them to risk it. Based on their plan, that Birdman of the Ancient Races should have lasted at least a few exchanges. After all, his heavenly eagle wings were a very powerful divine ability, granting him great speed. They could also be used for offense and defense. Unfortunately, this shockingly fast fellow was too weak in front of Long Chen. He wasn't able to resist in the slightest, getting caught in the blink of an eye. After catching him, Long Chen tossed him over to the other experts rushing over. The birdman was like a meteorite, moving ten times faster than his own speed. Those experts let out startled cries. They tried to dodge, but Long Chen had thrown the birdman with so much force that he appeared in front of them as soon as he left Long Chen's grasp. Three of them were struck. Although they had summoned their heavenly Tao defenses, they were sent flying. The birdman's physical body exploded, and a Yuan spirit flew out. He tried to run, as he found that the speed he was so proud of was a joke in front of Long Chen's celestial lightning body blink. Just before this, he had already despaired, thinking that he was definitely dead. But unexpectedly, Long Chen had tossed him away. His physical body might be destroyed, but his Yuan spirit had survived. It was unfortunate that as soon as his hope was reignited, it transformed into absolute despair again. A lightning arrow appeared in his vision. No, a cry of despair rang out as he understood just how foolish it had been to provoke Long Chen with his speed. Boom. That expert's Yuan spirit was slain mercilessly. Run. The other experts' expressions completely changed. They were finally witnessing Long Chen's power. Hence, they no longer dared to even think of driving Long Chen away to obtain the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish. In truth, they had been tricked by the Birdman. 
They didn't know that once the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish were startled, they wouldn't appear again. Furthermore, with people being slain and their blood flowing into the lake, those Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish would stop searching for food. There wouldn't be the slightest chance of obtaining them again. If they had known that, they might have been calmer before acting. Regretfully, there weren't that many ifs in this world. Long Chen smiled coldly, and his figure vanished. Like a streak of lightning, he shot after those experts. Wielding a bone sword, he slashed it at one of the panicking experts. That expert didn't even have a chance to activate his divine item before being slain along with his Yuan spirit. This bone sword was one of the golden dragon teeth. He didn't dare to let them leave his hand anymore, or they would try to escape his control. The dragon teeth were incredibly sharp. His own hand had to be covered in green dragon scales just so that he could hold it. The dragon tooth was three feet long. It was a similar shape to a sword, and he used it very smoothly. If it had a hilt, it would be even more comfortable. Long Chen shot off for his next target. The golden dragon tooth smashed apart a quasi-divine sword that his opponent tried to block with. When that sword was destroyed, Long Chen clearly felt the dragon tooth absorb the sword's item spirit. The dragon tooth actually had a kind of instinct to strengthen itself. Think you can run? Keep dreaming. Long Chen suddenly summoned a ball of golden flames. He threw it into the lake below. Boom. The ball of flames exploded on top of the lake. The golden flames spread in every direction. The entire surface of the lake began to boil. Following that, ripples appeared in the water. They looked like scales. They had just appeared when water arrows shot out like concentrated rain, enveloping the region Long Chen was in. The water arrows flew from below, and the experts running for their lives were caught off guard. The water arrows pierced their bodies, eliciting sharp cries. The water arrows enveloped them like a storm. Each arrow possessed its own law. Some of those experts had their physical bodies explode on contact, leaving Yuan spirits floating in the air. However, their Yuan spirits began to smoke when the water arrows touched them. Their energy rapidly faded. Some of them tried to flee, but before they could get far, they were turned to nothing. Long Chen was also struck by a tide of water arrows. However, he was prepared since he had heard Hua Zigwang say that the lake possessed a law that would attack back if someone attacked the lake. He was standing on the heaven flipping seal, which spread to cover him. The water arrows struck it sending it and Long Chen higher into the sky. What shocked Long Chen was that the heaven flipping seal rapidly exhausted a huge amount of its energy to block the water arrows. Long Chen almost coughed up blood from the impact of the water arrows. Fortunately, the lake returned to calm in a few seconds. The experts that had enveloped Long Chen had all been slain. In the distance, some more experts had been rushing over. However, upon seeing that terrifying sight, their faces were pale. They immediately turned around and fled. It really was terrifying. The heaven flipping seal almost couldn't bear it. Long Chen himself was shocked. Hua Zigwang had said that the lake's counterattack had been powerful enough to almost heavily injure him. Long Chen had thought that the lake's attack could help him stall or trap these experts. Unexpectedly, the lake had directly slain them all. It seems the lake counterattacks based on the force attacking it. Fuck. It's a good thing I didn't go all out, or I might have died. Long Chen muttered to himself, feeling like he had almost conned himself to death. Long Chen rushed into the distance. He took out some large buckets and began absorbing as much water as he could. He wanted to gather as much as possible before these people's blood infected the water. However, this rate of absorption was too slow. Clenching his teeth, Long Chen suddenly formed a hand seal and a terrifying suction force appeared. A giant whirlpool appeared in the lake as it sank a whole level. Rumble. The lake immediately exploded, unleashing a terrifying wave that wrapped around Long Chen. I'm done. I swear. Bye. Lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back, and he vanished. Chapter 1822 Leaving after killing translator. Born to be Long Chen fled at top speed. The entire lake was enraged and huge waves were pouncing on him. Just now, Long Chen had absorbed a huge amount of its water, and the pool he had created in the primal chaos space was now full. That had provoked the lake. Before this, he had been hoping to absorb some scarlet blood spirit fish with the water, 
but he found that the primal chaos space was really unable to absorb living creatures directly. Then he had come up with the method of using the heaven flipping seal to bring in the scarlet blood spirit fish one by one. By the time he had figured out this method, the birdman had come to cause trouble, almost ruining things. Right now, there were only 27 scarlet blood spirit fish inside the primal chaos space, as they were all fish kings. The little pool of water he had gotten with the barrels of water had naturally not been enough. In any case, since there was no longer any chance of him gaining more scarlet blood spirit fish, he directly absorbed the lake's water to give the fish kings a better living environment. As a result, the fish were more comfortable, but Long Chen was now attacked from all sides. Long Chen repeatedly slashed a lightning blade, blowing apart the waves of water and creating a path for himself. He found that there was a strange energy within these waves of water. When his lightning blade touched them, he felt his spiritual yuan rapidly flow away. Long Chen decided to release the lightning blade, allowing Lai Long to control it. That way his spiritual yuan wouldn't be sucked away so quickly. After that, he enveloped himself in thunder force that separated him from the lake water. This water was too strange. Even when a single drop of it touched him, it sucked away his spiritual yuan, his spiritual strength, and his yuan spirit energy. Lai Long had its own energy. As a result, it could slash open a path, bringing Long Chen away. Mountains began to appear in the distance when they finally reached the end of the lake. Suddenly, Long Chen clapped himself in the head for his foolishness. Why hadn't he absorbed the water at the shore and then run? The lake wouldn't have been able to attack him. Just as they flew onto the shore, the lake stopped rumbling. It seemed to roar one final time before its attack stopped. Its attack range was limited to just the lake. Good. Now no one can obtain the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish. Long Chen smiled coldly. Golden ripples had appeared over the lake. It seemed taking the water had touched upon some restriction, making the lake enter a furious state. If people flew over it, they might be fine, but if anyone dared to try to do anything to the lake, they would definitely be attacked and killed. The Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish had been scared away, while the water had been infected with blood. Before the lake was cleansed, they definitely wouldn't come out again. With them hiding in the caves at the bottom of the lake, no one could even entice them to come out, let alone capture one. There really was no hope of getting any more of them now. Long Chen quickly rushed over two mountains and saw violet light flying in the distance. Hua Zigwang was surrounded by seven Empyreans. It went without saying that Hua Zigwang was not weak. He was worthy of being sent in ahead of the crowd. Even against seven opponents, he wasn't instantly defeated. However, he was definitely at a disadvantage and caught by them. Hua Zigwang, who would have thought that you would be so foolish as to willingly be used by Long Chen? Don't you think you're stupid for sacrificing yourself for him? That many people went to kill him, and didn't you hear those explosions just now? Sneered an expert wearing robes of the righteous path. He was joined by two experts of the ancient races, three from the ancient family alliance, and one from the Xuan beasts. Hua Zigwang clenched his teeth. His attacks were much sharper than the seven of them. You're the idiot. Do you think the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, and the Xuan beasts will become your support in the future? Once your use has come to an end, they'll abandon you. To betray your own side for some fake benefits, you're the real idiot. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is the pride of the righteous path and the human race. He has killed so many experts from the corrupt path but you aren't grateful at all. How stubborn. It seems only death can cure your stupidity cursed the righteous expert. Yes, truly stubborn. Death really is the only cure for you. An indifferent voice rang out. It was very calm in everyone's ears, but it caused all eight people's expressions to change. Hua Zigwang was delighted, while the other seven were terrified. This voice was familiar to all of them. Although the seven of them had never personally seen the master of this voice, they had seen him in photographic jades. A hand slammed onto that righteous expert's back, and he directly exploded from the force. His sword tried to fly away, but it was caught by Long Chen. If you don't want to die, you better obediently listen to me. Long Chen directed these words to the sword in his hand. It was a divine item, and if it dared to resist, he would destroy it. He smoothly slashed the sword through the air, 
A cold light flashed as one of the ancient race experts was cut in two. Look closely. A sword user must have a sword user's pride and arrogance. With one sword, you can shake the universe, laugh at gods, and force the world to make way for you. Long Chen slashed his sword again, and it seemed to break the laws of heaven and earth. Time stood still. It was like this sword did not exist in this world. Sword light flashed. Moving in an inconceivable arc this arc exceeded the scope of the sword Dao yet also seemed to be part of it. Long Chen slashed his sword six times, each time killing someone. Whether they blocked or fled, or even tried to launch a suicidal blow, they were helpless in front of Long Chen's incomprehensible sword arts. Their ultimate fates were only death. Hua Zigwang was struck dumb. He had put his whole life into the sword Dao but he had never witnessed such terrifying and refined sword arts. In the blink of an eye, those seven experts that had suppressed him were slain. Furthermore, each of them had died so easily. Long Chen seemed elegant when attacking, as if he was dancing, as if it were just a show. But each move was a fatal blow. All the divine items stayed in the air, not daring to move or run. That was what Long Chen had ordered. He had locked onto these divine items with his divine sense. Although they were just quasi-divine items, he knew that the Dragonblood Legion needed some good weapons. All the Dragonblood warriors were using ancestral items. Even if he couldn't let them all use divine items, at least the squad leaders should have a divine item. Otherwise, they would be at a disadvantage in future fights. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen. No, Master Long Chen. I beg of you, please accept me as your apprentice. Long Chen put away the divine items, and only then did Hua Zigwang recover from his shock. He actually knelt to Long Chen. He had been completely won over by Long Chen's sword arts. Long Chen pulled Hua Zigwang up, shaking his head. I'm just a dabbler. My sword arts were learned from my brother. You have great talent and power, but not the confidence and pride a sword cultivator should possess. A person needs to be humble, but sword cultivators are an exception. For a sword cultivator to feel humble is indecisive. You will see countless forks in the road ahead of you and hesitate for a lifetime. If you can't even see your own path clearly, you won't be able to become a true expert. Hua Zigwang looked at Long Chen. He felt like he had suddenly understood something, and he bowed. Many thanks for your pointers, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. If I have any future accomplishments, it will be thanks to your favor. Hua Zigwang's own comprehension abilities were very great. With just a slight indication from Long Chen, he had found the greatest weakness in himself. That was because he sensed a confidence that only experts could possess. That confidence was something that would not be shaken, one that would be steady in the face of countless trials. Long Chen's reminder changed Hua Zigwang's life and would change the Violet Light Sword sect forever. But that was in the future. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen. How did things go? Did you get the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish? Fuck. A bunch of idiots chased them away. You didn't get them. Hua Zigwang was startled. Clenching his teeth. He took out his own Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish. Long Chen hastily shook his hand. I did get some already. It's just that my household is too big. And the fish that I got aren't enough. As for what you have. It's not worth anything either. Then what do we do? Can we go back? No need. The Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish are unobtainable by anyone now. Long Chen shook his head. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen. Is there anything you need my help with? I can go form an alliance with other righteous experts. No. I'm not afraid of anyone. If anyone wants to die, just send them over to me. If you have any good friends who have left the Martial Heaven Alliance or want to go against me, you can try to advise them. If they stay like that, they will sooner or later die to a scheme or die to my hands. Good brother, take care. If we can, let's meet again. Long Chen turned and left. More and more people were entering the Yin Yang world. That was a bad thing but also a good thing. Chapter 1823 A Meeting of Fate Translator Born to be Long Chen had forcibly shattered the souls of the people he had slain while killing them. That was in order to flip through their memories. He didn't have the same refined control over his spiritual strength as Meng Chi did. If he tried to quickly look through them, the seals on their souls would activate, causing their souls to self-destruct. Although that wouldn't harm Long Chen, 
their memories would be fully erased. That was why Long Chen was forced to crush their souls into fragments that would shatter the restrictions on their souls, allowing him to glance through the fragments. Through those fragments, Long Chen obtained a wider map. He also saw the threads that Pill Valley was weaving. The sects that had left the Martial Heaven Alliance had already formed a secret alliance with Pill Valley, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts, and other first-rate powers. The very existence of this alliance was a shot at the Martial Heaven Alliance. The corrupt path had already promised that if those sects didn't attack them, they wouldn't attack those sects. Of course, that was just a word game. As long as the corrupt path was strong enough, they could do whatever they wanted. They could make up a story that those sects had suddenly attacked them. Then they could openly crush them. So this alliance was weaker than paper. Anyone with a brain could see the crux of the problem. Long Chen didn't know what those people leaving the Martial Heaven Alliance were thinking. When the Martial Heaven Alliance fell, their so-called allies would become hungry wolves. Could it be all those people were idiots and didn't see that? Or were there more secrets that he didn't know yet? Long Chen couldn't be bothered to continue trying to understand their thinking, or what kind of scheme they were up to. He followed his own advice, that schemes were nothing in front of absolute power. Using intelligence to survive in this world was like dancing on the tip of a blade. One mistake, one miscalculation, and you would be done for. Relying on power was the correct path. That was why this world was one where the strong were respected. As long as you were strong, you could control everything. You wouldn't need schemes. The only precondition was that you were strong enough. A good display of this principle would be the comparison between the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect and the Zhuanshan Dao Sect when both of them had declined. The Zhuanshan Dao Sect had been whistling past the graveyard. They weren't even able to maintain their own dignity. On the other hand, the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect might have become poor, but they were unyielding. If anyone provoked them, they would fight to the last. They refused to talk reason or bother with schemes. If someone was an enemy, they would fight to the death. So the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect had become a sect of madmen in the Martial Heaven continent. However, these madmen were existences others didn't dare to provoke. No matter how they declined, they still managed to live with dignity. What was the point of cultivating? If it wasn't to live with dignity, then what? So the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's principles were very much to Long Chen's taste. If the Zhuanshan Dao Sect did not have Li Xiangxuan present, Long Chen really wouldn't feel any sense of belonging to the Zhuanshan Dao Sect. The same was true of the Martial Heaven Alliance. He only respected and loved Ku Jianying alone. The others had nothing to do with him. Only the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect had made him feel like a family as a whole. Drinking and eating with Bao Buping and Chang Hao. He felt like that was how a man should live. So even knowing that people had betrayed the Martial Heaven Alliance, he only felt them to be foolish. He wasn't angry. If those traitors had come from the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect though, he would definitely hunt them down to the last. He wouldn't let anyone betray him. Matching these maps to his own, Long Chen obtained a great picture of the Yun Yang world. This was one of the benefits of more people having entered. The region they could cover was greater and it would be easier to notice some ancient relics. Although his attempt at capturing the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish had ended up being interrupted, he was actually very satisfied now. He had just checked on the fish and found that they seemed infatuated with their new home. He had tossed a few spirit flowers and some fruit inside, thinking that they would placate them. However, they actually devoured them all. Two of them even jumped to the side of the shore and ate some precious medicines there before returning to their pool. The spiritual chi in the primal chaos space was extremely concentrated, and the life energy was so dense that it had almost condensed into the divine life elixir. That was the kind of environment that the scarlet blood spirit fish liked the best. They only liked places with abundant spiritual chi, and those environments had to be peaceful as well. In the primal chaos space, they seemed to become very hungry. They were swimming rapidly through the pool in search of food. What delighted him the most was that two of them were actually in a corner laying eggs. In just a few hours, those eggs began to change, transforming into translucent little fish. When Long Chen saw that, he almost shouted in joy. The scarlet blood spirit fish he had caught were multiplying. 
there were over a thousand eggs in that one brood. In the primal chaos space, they had no natural predators, so these eggs would all mature. Just to prevent any accidents, Long Chen moved the eggs into their own little pool. He didn't want the scarlet blood spirit fish to eat them. He didn't know about their habits or if they ate their own eggs. If they were eaten, he wouldn't even have a place to cry. He tossed in a lot of precious medicines, fruit, and flowers. The fish gobbled them up until they couldn't eat anymore. They lazily swam through the water. Long Chen was given a nice surprise. He didn't know if it was because the primal chaos space was a special world. But there were now three more pairs mating and laying eggs. The flow of time seemed different in the primal chaos space. Everything grew faster here. Even the scarlet blood spirit fish. Although he didn't quite understand this aspect of the primal chaos space, he didn't care to figure it out. In any case, it was an amazing thing. Long Chen planted precious medicines all around the fish pool. In particular, he planted those that bloomed and bore fruit very quickly. That way, when the scarlet blood spirit fish grew hungry, they could swim over to the shore and eat as much as they wanted. As long as he gave them enough food. He was confident that he could breed even more of them. He, the primal chaos space is a real treasure. Divine items? They're garbage compared to it. Long Chen laughed inside. The primal chaos space was a miracle. It had helped him time and time again. A few more hours passed. The first batch of eggs had matured into inch-long scarlet blood spirit fish that were swimming around happily. Long Chen tossed in some powders of the food that he was feeding to the adult fish. Those small scarlet blood spirit fish quickly consumed them. They all liked things with great spirituality. Ha ha ha, I'm rich. Long Chen went crazy with delight. These fish were growing exceptionally quickly. It seemed it wouldn't take that long for them to fully mature. The dragon blood legion can soar once more. In the future, I won't even need to fight. I'll just point to who I want my brothers to kill. Long Chen felt like flowers were blooming in his heart. He eagerly anticipated the day these small scarlet blood spirit fish became fish king as well. Being nourished in the primal chaos space, their essence would be several times stronger than the ordinary scarlet blood spirit fish. Adding on the fact that he was feeding them precious 9th and 10th tier medicinal ingredients, each one of them was a treasure. Once they fully matured, he would never need to worry about money again. After finishing the arrangements for the scarlet blood spirit fish, Long Chen thought about it and flew in a certain direction. It was a region that no one had mapped out yet. Having gone through what the others had experienced since entering the Yin Yang world, he hadn't found anything that interested him. It was the unknown regions that possessed greater chances of holding treasures. Those people's cultivation bases hadn't been particularly high, and their power was also not that great. The reason they had survived was precisely because they hadn't run into any precious treasures worth fighting for, or because they hadn't dared to take risks to obtain greater treasures. As for those who had obtained treasures, if they weren't particularly strong, they would probably hide themselves after obtaining those treasures. They would wait until they could use the treasure to increase their power to the point where they could protect it before going out in search of more. As for the place he was going, it was a craggy mountain range. The dense vegetation of the yin yang world gradually faded here, replaced with thistles and thorns. It looked a bit desolate. The further he went, the more desolate it appeared. In the end, even the thorny undergrowth faded, replaced with barren stones. These stones gradually became a red color. Further onward, he saw a corpse of a human. The robes belonged to the righteous path, and there was a clean incision on the back of the head. This person had been slain in one attack, with even their Yuan spirit annihilated. The corpse belonged to a young rank 9 celestial that still had a bewildered expression on his face. Even in his death, he hadn't understood what was going on. There's no heavenly Tao aura or the leftover aura of a divine item. There are no signs of resistance. It seems the dangers you can't see really are the fatal ones. Long Chen shook his head as he looked at the surrounding rocks. This person was most likely slain by his companion, by someone he trusted. As for why that person had killed him, who knew? The most dangerous thing in the cultivation world was a person's heart. This was an ancient teaching that had been true from time immemorial. Although Long Chen had killed countless people, he always kept his conscience clean. 
he had never felt any guilt for his actions. However, each time he saw someone being killed by someone they trusted, he would feel infuriated. Betrayal was something he couldn't accept. He continued onward. The land ahead was covered in mist, but this mist was actually dark yellow. It looked beautiful yet also extremely dangerous. Long Chen had just reached the misty area when a figure slowly walked out of the mist, just so happening to be walking directly to Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen, his expression completely changed. Before he could do anything, Long Chen's sword was already slashing down mercilessly. A Meeting of Fate Chapter 1824 Robbing the Robber Translator Born to be it truly was a meeting of fate because that person was from the Xuan Beasts and had been one of the people beside true immortal Jiaoki who had targeted Long Chen outside the Yun Yang world, saying that he would kill Long Chen as soon as he saw him. Fate had drawn them together here. The Xuan Beast had just noticed Long Chen when Long Chen's sword came slashing over to him. He hastily raised a battle axe to block. The Xuan Beast was blown back, while Long Chen's body also shook slightly. His sword was too light, and it might be alright against most Empyreans, but this Xuan Beast expert was an elite who had been sent into the Yun Yang world ahead of the ordinary experts. Long Chen was also forced back in this exchange. This person's power was not inferior to Xiang Yunfei's. Without a weapon suited to him, Long Chen actually had no advantage over him. The Xuan Beast expert's expression changed. After being blown back, he actually ran away. That dumbfounded Long Chen. This person was so powerful. Even if he wasn't as strong as Xiang Yunfei, he was still on that level. That one exchange was enough for experts on their level to sense this. If Long Chen wanted to defeat him, that would definitely come at a price, and to kill him would be very difficult. Unexpectedly, such a powerful expert directly fled. He was extremely fast, and Long Chen was still stunned when he vanished from sight. Ah, he was already injured. Examining his surroundings more closely, Long Chen saw a drop of blood on the ground left behind by that Xuan beast. Long Chen walked over and touched the blood. Beautiful light shone from it. It was filled with the Xuan beast's essence. There's a corrosive aura within it, as well as the power of a curse. I didn't see any big injuries, so he was most likely stabbed, either being struck by poison or a curse, so he was trying to find a place to heal. I just wonder who injured him. Was it another person or some native beast? This mist must be filled with dangers. Long Chen looked at the mist in front of him gravely. That Xuan beast expert was very powerful, and Long Chen hadn't seen any injury on him. Whatever wound there was, it had to be very small. For such a small injury to make a Xuan beast expert flee for his life in search of a place to heal, it definitely had to be very fatal. Should I chase that fellow? Long Chen liked that idea, but he decided against it. His chances of killing him were too low. If his prey just ran off in the end, it would be a waste of time. He continued forward, walking into the mist. Here, he found that this mist was condensed by a special law. It was not true mist but something that seemed like the result of a formation. The mist contains an energy that blocks spiritual probing and tries to distract the soul. It would create hallucinations if someone's will wasn't strong enough. Long Chen immediately noticed the oddities of the mist, but it couldn't affect him. Continuing onward, Long Chen saw a figure standing in the mist, its whole body shuddering. He was just an ordinary rank 9 celestial of the righteous path. His eyes were closed and he was covered in sweat. Long Chen patted a hand on his shoulder, causing him to let out a startled cry. It was like he had been startled awake out of a nightmare. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, that person looked at Long Chen with a hint of panic in his eyes. Your will isn't strong enough. You should leave. You will only die here. Long Chen only gave a simple warning before continuing onward. Many thanks. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. I. The expert stood there with a complicated expression. I don't care if you left the Martial Heaven Alliance. Wearing the robes of the Righteous Path should be enough to state your position. I know there are things out of your control. I only saved you because we're from the same side. Long Chen indifferently waved his hand, quickly vanishing from that person's sight. Long Chen had already realized that this person belonged to a sect that had left the Martial Heaven Alliance. Although he was wearing the Righteous Path's robes. There was a specific mark on his sleeves. 
that Mark wasn't very conspicuous, but Long Chen had noticed it. Despite that, Long Chen had still saved him. In truth, some disciples were innocent. The ones who made the decisions were the higher-ups, and these disciples were powerless to change their decisions. As long as they hadn't raised their blades against him, Long Chen didn't want to kill them. It wasn't because he was such a nice person, but just that he had his own bottom line. The mist grew thicker as he advanced. The mental invasion also grew stronger, and other people would be seeing illusions everywhere. However, Long Chen's will was strong, and he wasn't affected at all. He didn't even need to summon a mental defense. Finally, the mist began to fade, and he saw a land of unending mountains. They were still barren, but now they consisted entirely of dark red stone. Ha ha ha, little girl, hand over your treasures and I'll spare your life. Long Chen had just walked out of the mist when he heard some shouting. Oh, someone's robbing others? Good, let's see if I can rob the robber. Long Chen quickly advanced. He also hid his spiritual fluctuations and aura. Once he was past a small mountain, he saw that there were two people, both from the righteous path. One was a man with fiery red light in his eyes, and he was blocking the path of a young woman. The man was an Empyrean with a powerful aura. He had yet to release his manifestation, but his aura was completely locked onto the woman in front of him. As for the woman, she was just a rank 9 celestial. Her aura was not very strong. She looked very weak, and she was like a lamb for the slaughter in front of this Empyrean. Long Chen looked strangely at this woman. He felt her figure to be somewhat familiar, but he didn't recall a rank 9 celestial amongst the women he knew. We're both from the righteous path and should be united. You haven't even seen the treasure, but you got greedy and want to kill me. Is this your Tao of cultivation? The woman shook her head. Her voice was a bit coarse. It was dry and tart. Her voice also seemed to contain great disappointment, as well as a sorrow that was difficult to describe. Long Chen got curious and switched locations to get a better view. Looking at her face, he found that her looks were very ordinary. She had quite a few freckles as well. It could be said that she was a bit ugly. However, her eyes were still very bright, but they were filled with a complicated expression of disappointment. Are you an idiot? What kind of nonsense are you spouting? What Tao? The cultivation path is one where the strong step over other people's corpses to advance. As long as there is profit. Who cares? Don't waste any more of my time. I'll give you to the count of three. If you don't hand it over, I'll kill you. One. The woman seemed to have given up on fighting. She sighed. You, Zhang Yangxiang, are a generation's genius. The heir to the rain-slashing mountain house. Normally, you act very heroically. Your reputation is excellent, but who would have thought that there was such a sinister and merciless face behind that heroism? Just a quasi-divine item is enough for you to tear your fake mask off and want to kill me. A weak woman. The woman was holding an ancient sword with divine runes flowing around it. This man had targeted her precisely for that sword. Seeing that she was just a rank 9 celestial, he naturally grew greedy. Long Chen's mouth couldn't help but curse. Was this woman really an idiot? Did she not know not to reveal her wealth for nothing? She, a little rank 9 celestial, actually dared to openly hold a divine item. How was that any different from a child carrying a piece of gold and walking into a den of beggars? Stop wasting time. Although I rarely kill women, I don't have time to waste on you. Just die. That man's manifestation suddenly burst into existence. A rank 9 celestial's heavenly Tao energy would be completely stripped away by an Empyrean's manifestation. This woman had no chance to fight back. That person's palm slammed toward her, and she simply closed her eyes, seeming to be waiting for her death. A burst of wind blew back the woman's hair. However, the fatal blow she had been waiting for never came. That was because a hand had caught that man's wrist. Another person had appeared in front of her. When she saw that person, her entire body shook. She covered her mouth, filled with disbelief. Long. Chen. The man that had been about to kill her suddenly saw someone else arrive and catch his attack easily. When he saw that person, he was filled with terror. I suppose that you killed your companion before even entering the mist. Correct? If you have a human's appearance, you should act like a human. Long Chen's domineering spiritual yuan surged into that man through his wrist. 
sealing his danshan. Just from this person's attack, Long Chen knew that he was the one who had killed the corpse that had died from a sudden sneak attack. Long Chen easily recognized his aura. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. I, I, he was terrified, wanting to argue. But in front of Long Chen's cold gaze, he found that he couldn't lie. At some point, his soul was completely sealed by Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I know my wrongs. Please, forgive me. I am willing to be your slave, to hand over all your treasures, said Long Chen indifferently. Chapter 1825 The Strange Woman Translator Born to be that person immediately took out three divine items. There were one spear and two swords. They were all quasi-divine items. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I've taken out everything I own. Can you please let me off? That person immediately felt more relaxed upon seeing that Long Chen merely wanted to rob him. He felt that as long as he handed his treasures over, Long Chen wouldn't kill him. Don't try to trick me. I've killed many people. I'll give you to the count of three. And if you don't hand over everything, I guarantee that you won't see tomorrow's sun. Long Chen smiled disdainfully. Long Chen's divine sense was completely locked onto this person. He could sense even the most imperceptible fluctuations, as nothing could escape his senses. Lying to him was an impossibility. That person's expression changed. Under Long Chen's icy gaze, he finally submitted, tossing out another seven divine items. This person was truly a marvel. Ordinary spatial rings were unable to store divine items. The only exception was a spatial ring that had reached the same level as a divine item. Otherwise, they would need to be stored in a spiritual space. In either case, he had to have forced the divine item to submit or sealed it, or he would simply be courting death. The self-detonation of a divine item would annihilate him. As expected, these divine items all had sealing runes on them. This person was quite skilled in this regard or there was no way he could have sealed this many divine items with his power. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, I swear these are all the divine items I have. I beg you to stay your hand and let me off. This person was pale, looking as miserable as if his parents had just died. He knew that Long Chen's spiritual strength was many times stronger than his own. Hiding anything from Long Chen was suicidenovaloon.com if he was tougher. He could refuse to hand over anything. He could have crushed his spatial ring, throwing the divine items into the chaotic flow of space so that no one could obtain them. However, in front of Long Chen, it was impossible for him to be tough. He still wanted to live, so he had no choice but to hand over his treasures. You had quite a few. Long Chen smiled icily. Each of these divine items represented the life of an expert, or perhaps more accurately, the life of a righteous expert. This person's power wasn't worth crap in Long Chen's eyes. His guess was that all the people he had killed had been people who had trusted him, his friends. There was no other way he could have killed so many experts in possession of divine items. Long Chen, you're a peerless expert. I've already handed over my treasures. Killing me won't get you anything more. Will you still kill me? Probed the man brazenly. A glint of resentment flashed in his eyes. These divine items were all his treasures. For them, he had used his own connections, viciously attacking the people closest to him. But now, all those treasures had ended up in Long Chen's hands. He was extremely unwilling, but he had no choice. Long Chen suddenly slapped that person, sending him staggering back. Scram. After slapping him away, Long Chen didn't look at him anymore. He grabbed the divine items and put them in the primal chaos space. The man glared at Long Chen resentfully, but he didn't dare to express it. He rushed away, vanishing within the mist. You bastard Long Chen. Just wait. I won't let you off for this. I'll ah. That person was in the midst of cursing Long Chen when he suddenly grabbed his head and tumbled to the ground, rolling around crazily. You bastard. You did something to my mind. When Long Chen had slapped him, he had sent a strand of spiritual strength into this man's mind see. When his resentment and rage flared, it would cause his soul to rage as well. After that, the single strand of spiritual strength would transform into a sharp blade, and countless illusions began to appear in his head. He saw the friends he had betrayed and killed. They were covered in blood. Then he saw the very blade he had used to kill them in their hands. With it, 
they began to hack him over and over again. No. A terrified scream rang out. In real life, he was rolling around crazily, but in his mind, he was unable to move. He could only allow these people to cut him to pieces. Although Long Chen wasn't a soul cultivator, he had learned some simple soul arts from Men Chi, and his spiritual strength was extremely powerful. When that person's resentment erupted, he would fall into his most terrifying nightmares. The more he was afraid of something, the more he would see it. These illusions used his Yuan spirit as fuel. They would continue until his Yuan spirit ran out of energy and was incinerated. Only then would his pain stop. However, a person's Yuan spirit had quite a bit of energy, and it could be incinerated for a long time. In other words, this person would slowly die amidst endless pain and suffering. Perhaps this was his retribution for betraying others. Long Chen put away all the divine items. He supposed he had made quite a decent profit. As for that person's fate, it was within his expectations. Thank you. The woman gratefully bowed toward Long Chen. Although her looks were ordinary, every single one of her movements contained an indescribable charm to them that made Long Chen feel like she looked very familiar. There's no need to thank me. I was just being a robber. I'm even more evil than that person. But don't worry, I'm much superior and tactful. Speaking of which, that sword is a calamity in your hands. How about you give it to me for safekeeping? Again, there's no need for you to thank me. Long Chen waved his hand, looking at the sword in her hand. The woman actually chuckled at Long Chen. Miss, I'm in the midst of robbing people, so please be more serious. Respect my profession. Long Chen hardened his expression. The great founder of the Dragonblood Legion, an unrivaled heavenly genius. The unmatched Long Chen would actually rob a weak woman? I don't dare to believe it. The woman smiled at Long Chen without the slightest fear. Long Chen swore inside. So he had been recognized. He immediately said, I haven't been doing too well in the world lately. It's been tough. Sometimes I'm forced to be a robber to get some money to survive. Ah, uh, girl, why do you look a bit familiar to me? Do I know you? I know you, but you don't know me. I'm just a nameless little figure, a nobody. My talent is only ordinary, while you are a dragon amongst men. How could you know me? The woman sighed with sorrow. Hey, little girl, why do I feel like you sound world-weary? Did you enter the yin-yang world to seek your own death? Cough. I put that badly, but you know what I mean. Long Chen had seen all kinds of people, but he felt that this woman was different from all of them. Seeking my own death? Perhaps. In the Yun Yang world, I've seen many ugly things. I don't quite know what to do. A complicated expression appeared in her eyes. She seemed at a loss. TCH. Another girl living in dreams. Long Chen shook his head. You're the same as that foolish Zi Yan. Either you are always protected by others when looking at the world, or you learn about the world only through other people's mouths. Standing in the sunlight, you look at how amazing the world looks, yet you never see just how dark the places where the sunlight doesn't reach are. TCH, I'm not going to get in another argument with one of you. Just as Long Chen turned to leave, he hesitated. He took out a small arrow tube and handed it to her. This tube is an item used for sneak attacking that Guo Ran made for me. I'll probably never use it. So based on the destiny that brought us together, you can have it. I also benefited a bit thanks to you. There's a mechanism inside it that can be activated three times. Each time, it will shoot out 300 poisoned needles that will paralyze someone. If you use it at close range without any warning, someone like that fellow just now would definitely be struck. You would then have a chance to kill him. Even if you can't, you would have won a chance to run away. Girl, remember that life is beautiful, but it is definitely not perfect. When you despair, think of the things that make you happy, and you'll feel that no matter where you go, there will still be sunlight in your heart. All right, that's all I have to say. I'm still busy, so goodbye. Long Chen waved his hand and vanished, leaving the woman holding the tube. She looked in the direction Long Chen had gone, without being aware of it. Tears streamed down her face. Did he recognize me? No one can recognize you. Furthermore, that evil weapon of Long Chen's is currently in slumber, so there's even less chance of him recognizing you. A voice rang out in the woman's mind. If he didn't recognize me, 
then he just gave an ugly, talentless girl that he didn't even know a life-saving treasure, as well as saving her and comforting her. He really is still the same. He has not changed. He's always been a good person. What makes a person good or bad depends on your viewpoint. Just as Long Chen said, there were many things you couldn't see before this. Now that you've changed your viewpoint, don't you think you have seen a more truthful view? The girl nodded. It really is a different view. It's completely different from what my master and the elders taught me. Senior, I'm lost. What is there to be lost about? Again, there is no absolute right or wrong in this world. What matters is where you stand. The things your master taught you are correct to her. As for what Long Chen said, he's also correct. As for that fellow that snatches treasures from others to live, he is also correct. Using any means necessary is a method of survival. Naturally, you are lost now, but if you want to see the world clearly, you'll need to view it from multiple angles. That's the only way you can find a more complete view. Senior, I want to return to my old status. Please, no. The mysterious voice merely gave an icy reply with no room for negotiation. Chapter 1826 The Path of Tempering the Heart Translator Born to be we've agreed that you will roam the yin-yang world as an ordinary rank 9 celestial for a month. During this month, I will suppress your cultivation base, your looks, your yuan spirit, your spiritual fluctuations, everything. Here, you are no longer the beloved and respected fairy Yan. You are just an ordinary cultivator that could not be any more ordinary. This woman was the elusive music immortal palaces Zi Yan. Before entering the Yin Yang world, she had been moved by Yan Nanshan's words. She wanted to try looking at the world from another angle. Long Chen had always said that this world wasn't what she thought it was. She had thought that Long Chen's eyes had been clouded by slaughter and hatred. She had felt that he was wrong, that he couldn't see the sunlight. Hence, she had made an agreement with the seven string sea suppressing zither. It would suppress her cultivation base, change her appearance, and make her into a completely different person. As long as her life wasn't in danger, it wouldn't help her. This was a tempering experience for her, as well as an experiment. When she first entered, everything went well. She didn't bump into any other experts. Relying on her luck and intellect, she found quite a marvelous bounty inside an ancient cave. At that time, she had been very confident, but on the day that the large mass of experts had entered the yin-yang world, she had been robbed by seven different experts. It was at this time that she found that her learning, her principles, her insights were all jokes. In this place, the only thing was naked greed. Talking reason? That wasn't worth a single copper coin. At the beginning, there had been several rank 9 celestials that had grown envious of her divine item, so they had tried to kill her. She had then relied on her power, to repel them and run. Failing seven times to talk things out with those people had given her a big impact. But the biggest impact was when she had saved an expert who had been injured and lost consciousness when fighting against a magical beast. After she had helped heal that expert, he actually launched a sneak attack at her, almost killing her. It had been the seven string C suppressing zither that had been forced to come to her aid, killing her attacker. No matter what, Zi Yan couldn't understand. If it hadn't been for her, that person would have died. So why would he want to kill her? Was it really true that greed would always win over everything? Was there really no gratitude? In the next few days, she had grown somewhat numb. Before this, she had been like a swan gracefully soaring over the land. She had seen endless mountains and rivers, endless beautiful scenes that made her feel like this world was so wonderful. Now, this swan's wings had been lost. She fell to the mountains and rivers, powerless. She had once firmly believed that as long as a person could comprehend the heavenly deos, they would be able to reform the world. Now she felt that this line of thinking was laughable. She also experienced the double standards that Long Chen had brought up. All the experts that she had encountered wished to hear her music, and when they did, they praised her, giving her the name of the Zither Fairy. They prostrated themselves before her, listening closely to her teachings. However, when she had a different status, the same principles that she was taught before were met with derision and a killing blow. Those people couldn't even be bothered to let her finish speaking. They just wanted her sword. Day after day, 
Zi Yan was in greater and greater pain. She felt her faith and beliefs crumbling around her. The world that she had known was all false. The elusive music Immortal Palace's disciples only obtained the world's approval due to the elusive music Immortal Palace's martial might. Without this foundation, they were just a joke. After the past few days, she didn't even know how many people she had encountered who had wanted to kill her for her treasures. She had not encountered a single person who had wanted to help her. Some people had just watched from the side indifferently, perhaps waiting for a chance to profit while she fought off her attacker. Recently, she had lost the desire to talk reason with others. Her heart grew colder and colder. This world made her heart cold. Without the status of Fairy Zi Yan, she felt pained. The thing that she hadn't expected was that the first person to come to her aid would actually be Long Chen. Even without recognizing her, he had helped her and even given her something to protect herself. That made her grateful but also ashamed. Long Chen had always been a good person. He acted openly, in the same way that he thought. He didn't act one way while thinking another. Before this, she had gone against him, thinking that he was a demon who had slaughtered too many people and thus lost himself. She had wanted him to abandon his slaughter. Now when she thought back to that, she felt herself to be foolish. Wasn't giving up his slaughter just allowing others to kill him? Had she really been asking him to kill himself? She had even asked it so righteously. Thinking of that, she felt so ashamed she could die from it. These days where she had lost her status as fairy Zi Yan had been hell for her. She felt constant pain, and she was barely halfway through her month. That was why she begged the seven string sea suppressing zither to free her from this torment. She didn't want to play this game any longer. Are you afraid of continuing because you don't want to see that the world is even worse and more evil than you've already seen? Asked the seven string sea suppressing zither. Zi Yan choked back some sobs as she nodded. Zi Yan, this world belongs to the brave. Why do people want to become strong? Zi Yan shook her head. If it was before, she wouldn't hesitate to say a few hundred responses. But now her head was a muddled mess. She no longer had her old confidence. Not everyone is full of wild ambitions. 99% of people just want freedom. They want to live. To live with freedom and dignity. Long Chen's accomplishments are forced out by the cruelty of reality. If he didn't work hard. If he wasn't vicious enough. He would die. His lovers would die. And his brothers would die. As for you. You understand many principles. But you have never thought about what you live for. When you were born, your fate was set. You were to be a high and noble fairy, the heir to the elusive music immortal palace. You accepted that fate, but Long Chen had his own fate. He was a lowly noble son in an empire in the secular world. His fate should have ended within that rundown noble family. However, he was unwilling to allow fate to settle things for him. He fought against the heavenly deos. He dared to go against the very heavens. As for you, your fate was set up by the elusive music Immortal Palace. Are you willing to let your fate be arranged by others? Senior Zi Yan was surprised that the seven string C suppressing zither would say such words. Was it saying? Don't be surprised. The reason I have always stayed in the elusive music Immortal Palace is because I was waiting for a person to appear. That person is you, but it is not the current you. Child, don't be afraid. Be brave. Clench your teeth and walk forward. Only by experiencing a painful struggle can you emerge from your cocoon. Many thanks, senior. Disciple will definitely live up to your expectations, said Zi Yan gratefully as she wiped away her tears. Child, you should know that you aren't alone. You not only have me, don't you also have an existence in your heart that's more important than anything else? Zi Yan involuntarily thought of Long Chen. That free and unfettered figure that dared to do anything was always present in her heart. But he, he already said that the ties that held us together were severed. We are now strangers. Tears once more sprang up in Zi Yan's eyes. She thought of the heartless words Long Chen had said back in the Grand Han. Foolish child. You were the one forcing him to say such things. You forced his people into desperate straits. How could he not be angry? Do you not know what kind of person Long Chen is? His people's lives are more important to him than his own. When you fought him at that time, you threw them all into great danger. Did you think he would say something nice? 
but he definitely hates me to death now. You really are foolish. Long Chen doesn't truly hate you. Did you not hear it? Hear what Zi Yan's ears perked up. Long Chen previously said that you were the same as that foolish Zi Yan. That proves that you are still in his heart. Were you unable to even tell that? Hearing that, Zi Yan felt like a curse had been lifted. She became brighter. Child, the great era has come. This world is facing huge changes, and a storm of blood is coming. No one can live off of just kindness. If you are really kind, if you really want to save the lives of this world, then work hard on finding the correct Tao, said the seven string C suppressing zither solemnly. The correct Tao? You mean, the current heavenly Deos? Talking about such things is too early. I know you are a kind child, but you have to know that just kindness without the truth can easily cause disaster. The greater your power, the greater the disaster. Taking pity on a fish you pour boiling water on it, releasing land tortoises in the river. Sometimes the harder you work, the worse you make things. You are like a larvae in the cocoon struggling to become a butterfly. No one can help you. If someone helps you, you won't be able to open your wings in the future. You have to find your own truth, your own day of heart. That's the only way you can find your way and no longer be lost. That's the only way you can become a true expert. I won't fail you, swore Zi Yan. Let's go and continue your path of tempering the heart. Only then did Zi Yan put away her emotions and slowly leave. She didn't go in any particular direction. She was leaving the misty region. The seven string C suppressing zither didn't ask her to go looking for treasures. It wanted her to find her heart. That was her greatest challenge. Zi Yan was unaware of it, but her life was currently undergoing a transformation. It was a frightening transformation, a transformation that would shake and terrify the world. Chapter 1827 Chi Feng Tzu Translator Born to be Long Chen saw many experts as he traveled. The majority of them had formed groups because they weren't very powerful. Most of them were ranked 9 celestials. As for the occasional Empyrean he saw, they were just ordinary Empyreans whose manifestations had yet to begin awakening. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, a surprised and happy shout rang out from the distance. A good-looking woman rushed over to him. Long Chen looked at her and didn't recognize her. However, she was wearing the robes of the righteous path, so he supposed that they were on the same side. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, can I travel with you? Begged the woman. How are you alone? Long Chen frowned. This woman was just a normal rank 9 celestial. For her to enter the yin-yang world like this was essentially suicide. I got lost. My senior apprentice sister is past this region. But for me to get through it, this woman had been hiding this entire time, not daring to move. She only took the risk of coming out when she saw Long Chen. There had been experts in groups that had passed by her before, but she had been waiting for a group from the righteous path. Let's go. Long Chen nodded. As long as she didn't have any malice toward him. He didn't mind accompanying her for a while. Yes. Thank you. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. The woman actually excitedly hugged Long Chen. Cough. Let's get going. Long Chen looked at this woman oddly. She seemed a bit excessive. But looking at her face. He didn't see any malice. She seemed completely innocent. However. This enthusiasm made him feel a bit awkward. Her chest was flat and she pushed so hard against him that creaking sounds rang out. He, with senior apprentice brother Long Chen, there's nothing to fear the woman laughed and patted her chest. Long Chen looked at her flat chest and gulped inside. Was it due to this habit that she had flattened mountains into plains? She looked to be in her twenties, but she hopped and shouted like a child, making Long Chen speechless. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I'm Qi Xuan, and you can call me Zhuang Xuan. You might not know of me, but I bet you know my big sister. Chi Xuan smiled proudly when she mentioned her big sister. Who is your big sister? Asked Long Chen. My big sister is Chi Feng Su. He. Do you know her? Ah. Uh, what does she do? Long Chen had never heard of this name. Was she famous? Ah? Uh, really? You've never heard of the famous Clearwind sisters? Chi Xuan was disappointed. Sorry. I've always been in the eastern Xuan region. I don't know much about the central Xuan region. Then what about Yi Lingxian? Of course, I know her. 
Yi Lingxian and my big sister Qi Fengzu were given the name of the Clear Wind Sisters. Oh, I understand. Long Chen acted like he had come to a realization, but in reality, he simply had no idea who her big sister was. He, isn't my big sister amazing? It's too bad that she didn't get to see you when you were in Clear Wind City. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you were really amazing on that day. You even dared to strike Nether Passage experts. Qi Xuan looked at Long Chen worshipfully. Her completely innocent face made it impossible for someone to question her sincerity. Long Chen was speechless. It really was a miracle that someone like her had managed to survive for so long in the Yun Yang world. However, although she seemed a bit foolish, he liked her character Novaloon.com What are you looking at? Get out of our way before I kill you. The two of them were just walking when Qi Xuan shouted at a group of ancient race experts who were staring at them with shock. Her shout immediately caused their expressions to change, and they fled for their lives. Seeing that a single shout could scare so many experts to the point of fleeing like rats, Qi Xuan laughed delightedly. This is nice. It's even better than when I was with my big sister. Qi Xuan clapped her hands. She felt quite accomplished at borrowing Long Chen's prestige to frighten those people. Long Chen was speechless, not knowing whether to laugh or cry. He felt that for someone like Qi Xuan who didn't have power yet still liked to court death, she had to have relied entirely on luck to live so long. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, was I too naughty? Are you mad? Probed Qi Xuan. No, you can mess around as you please. Otherwise, life would be boring said Long Chen magnanimously. Just how much trouble could she cause? Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you're even better to me than my big sister. She always scolds me when I borrow a bit of her prestige, saying that I need to grow up. You really treat me great. Qi Zuan's face reddened slightly. She looked at Long Chen gently, and that gaze made him jump. It couldn't be that she was about to offer her heart to him so quickly? Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. I really like you. How about, you become my big sister's husband? Asked Qi Xuan bashfully. Long Chen almost coughed up blood. This twist caught him off guard. My big sister is as beautiful as Yi Lingxian, and her cultivation base is even stronger. If you become dual cultivation Dao companions with her, you'll definitely benefit. Most importantly, no one would dare to provoke me ever again. Qi Xuan clapped happily. Long Chen was still speechless. He even suspected that Qi Zuan's mental age was only 7 or 8 years old. Her way of thinking was very simple. Ignoring this, Long Chen continued rushing forward. Qi Xuan didn't let it go even once Long Chen didn't reply. She continued to bring up how amazing her big sister was. Long Chen's face twitched. He was starting to regret agreeing to bring her along. Qi Xuan, I'm very busy. Let's hurry along. Long Chen had no other method. He grabbed Qi Zuan's hand, and Thunder Force circulated around his feet. He shot off like a bolt of lightning. His speed was so great that the wind force was like numerous blades cutting Qi Zuan's face. She had no energy to speak now. Long Chen's world was finally quiet. Long Chen was in the midst of rushing forward when a ray of sword light pierced into the sky. It flashed with cold light as it slashed at Long Chen. Boom. Long Chen snorted and punched the sword light. It exploded but he was forced back. Long Chen was startled. This person's sword looked simple, but when it had met his fist, a burst of power had erupted. If he wasn't so powerful, he would have been injured. Just at this moment, sword images appeared in every direction around him. The only thing left in the world was sword light. He couldn't even see the sword user. They're fast. Long Chen extended a hand, summoning his own sword. He pulled Qi Xuan closer so that she wouldn't be injured. Long Chen's sword unleashed waves of golden light that surged against the sword light. Explosive sounds rang out. Long Chen was shocked to find that each of these sword images contained the explosive power that the first one had possessed. Each was like an erupting volcano. A portion of Long Chen's energy was absorbed and forced back against him. This was an extremely high-level sword art. Buzz. Long Chen's divine ring appeared behind him, and he slashed his sword again. This time. His slash contained a will to annihilate the world. The sword images were blown apart. His slash continued to strike the land, leaving behind a ditch so deep that it was impossible to see the bottom. With the sword images broken, 
Long Chen finally managed to see who the attacker was. He saw an icy-faced woman. She was very beautiful, with long hair that fell to her waist. However, her face seemed like it was covered in frost. She was holding a three-foot sword and looked at Long Chen with a bit of shock. But that shock vanished in an instant. Her manifestation erupted into existence, and millions of sword images appeared in it. She was an Empyrean whose manifestation had begun to awaken, and an extremely powerful one at that. Long Chen, release my sister, or I'll kill you even if I have to sacrifice this life of mine. The icy-faced woman pointed her sword at Long Chen, a divine mark appearing on her forehead. Her sword began to rumble. A. Long Chen was dumbfounded. He turned to look at Qi Xuan only to see that she had put on a terrified expression. He was immediately enraged. He, senior apprentice brother Long Chen, don't be mad. It was just a joke so that you could see how amazing my big sister is. So, don't you think she's suited for you? Qi Xuan laughed once she saw that Long Chen had noticed her behavior. She left and flew over to the icy-faced woman. This woman was Qi Zuan's big sister, Qi Fengsu a genius on the same level of fame as Yi Lingxin. She used to be stronger than Yi Lingxin by a level because Yi Lingxin was an independent cultivator who did not possess the same foundation. However, Yi Lingxin had now been taken under Ku Jianying's wing, having the support of the entire Martial Heaven Alliance. Qi Xuan was very mischievous, so Qi Fengsu had a special way to get in touch with her and find where she was. Originally, Qi Xuan had just been hiding in her original location, and Qi Fengsu would have gone to find her. However, upon encountering Long Chen, she had changed plans. With Long Chen pulling her forward, she had found that they were on a direct path to Qi Fengsu. Qi Xuan had then sent a distress signal, startling Qi Fengsu. The latter had immediately launched an attack, only to find that it was all a misunderstanding. Qi Fengsu tapped Qi Xuan on the nose hard. She angrily said, when are you going to stop causing so much trouble? I was scared to death by you. Ku Xuan had been about to cry, but that last sentence made her stop. This icy and fierce big sister always cared about her the most. I was wrong. Don't be angry. Qi Xuan hugged Qi Fengsu like a child that had made a mistake. Well, since the misunderstanding has been resolved, I'll take my leave. Long Chen turned to leave. Wait, there's danger up ahead. If you go, a calamity could befall you, said Qi Fengsu. Chapter 1828 Zi Luo Translator Born to be a calamity could befall him? Long Chen was startled. Was it so exaggerated? He paused. At this time, a group of young men and women had rushed over, wearing the same robes as Qi Xuan and Qi Fengsu. They were clearly from the same sect. First, let me apologize for that misunderstanding just now. If you aren't in a rush, I have some information that I'm sure will be useful to you, said Qi Fengsu. Then, I'll have to thank you. Long Chen truly wanted to hear what was up ahead. The two of them found a flat region to speak. The others put up a tent and left to patrol the area. There were a total of 13 of them. Nine of them were ranked 9 Celestials, while four were Empyreans. All of them were at least above average. At the very least, they were much stronger than Qi Xuan. Once they were seated, Qi Fengsu introduced herself. Only then did Long Chen learn that they came from Clear Wind City's heaven reaching ancient castle. That was a familial power with an ancient inheritance, and there were Nether Passage experts amongst them. They technically belonged to the Righteous Path, but they had not joined the Martial Heaven Alliance. They were their own independent power. In the Martial Heaven continent, many powerful forces were tough enough that they didn't fear the corrupt path. They stood on their own outside the Martial Heaven Alliance. Although they also fought against the corrupt path, they didn't have to listen to the Martial Heaven Alliance's directions, nor did they have to face their restrictions. They merely had a simple cooperation with the Martial Heaven Alliance. The heaven-reaching ancient castle was something that King King had mentioned while they had been strolling through Clearwind City, but Long Chen hadn't paid too much attention to it then. In their previous exchange and through this information, Long Chen knew that Qi Fengsu was a very powerful existence. While she had been introducing herself, Qi Fengsu also stealthily used her divine sense to communicate with Long Chen. She said that Qi Xuan was her little sister, 
but because her mother had injured her soul during her cultivation while she had been carrying Qi Xuan. It had resulted in Qi Xuan permanently being like a child inside. Although she looked like an adult, she had the heart of a mischievous child. Originally, they had entered together, but Qi Xuan had run off secretly when they had entered the mist, wanting to play hide and seek. As a result, the mist cut off their secret communication method that had panicked Qi Feng Su. Everyone had been looking in every direction. By the time Qi Xuan walked out of the mist, she had already been very far away. Once she had confirmed her location, Qi Feng Su had rushed over, and as a result had seen Long Chen dragging her along. This girl really was mischievous, intentionally causing her to fight against him. Once she had explained all of this, Qi Feng Su added that she hoped Long Chen wouldn't hold it against them. That made Long Chen understand why Qi Xuan was a bit odd and seemed like a child. Miss Feng Su, just before, you said that if I went any further, I might face a calamity. What were you talking about? Is the area ahead very dangerous? Long Chen brought the conversation back to the topic he was interested in. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, this place is the den of a frightening beast. Perhaps the beast's inheritance exists within. The mist in particular has drawn countless experts over. The reason I said it was dangerous was because I previously encountered true immortal Jiaoki of the Xuan beasts and even exchanged blows with him, said Chi Feng Su gravely. Long Chen was a bit surprised. What were the results? It actually can't even count as exchanging blows. In just one exchange, I was defeated. That's why I advise you to do your best to avoid true immortal Jiaoki. He is very frightening. If he hadn't had some misjivings about my background and held back, my defeat would have been even more miserable. He was actually holding back a great deal. He is really that powerful. Chi Feng Su nodded. When I fought him, he only used his Drake power and not his Killin power. That was enough to defeat me. You might not know this, but true immortal Jiaoki becomes a monster when he combines both his Drake and Killin powers. No one can stop him in that state. If you trust me, I would advise you to search for treasure somewhere else to avoid that monster. Chi Feng Su was telling the truth. She even told him about her shameful defeat. This was in consideration of Long Chen. Having exchanged blows with both you and true immortal Jiaoki, forgive me for speaking bluntly, but your chances of defeating him are very low, said Chi Feng Su. It seems he really is powerful. Long Chen nodded. Someone as powerful as Chi Feng Su wouldn't say such a thing if she wasn't sure of it. That's why, senior apprentice brother Long Chen that's why I have to go in. You, Long Chen smiled. I know you mean well, but I have my own Tao. I can't retreat. Even if that true immortal Jiaoki had three heads and six arms, I wouldn't be afraid of him. In any case, our battle will come sooner or later. The more I try to avoid it, the more I blunt my own sharpness. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, are you really so confident? Asked Chi Feng Su. It's not confidence, nor is it arrogance. You can call it my intuition. When you feel people as famous as you, people who might even be stronger than you, fall to your blade one by one, you will gain this kind of intuition as well. This intuition can only be grasped by those who have it. If you understand, then you understand, and if you don't, you'll never understand. Long Chen smiled. No matter how strong his opponent, he wouldn't be defeated. This was the confidence the nine-star hegemon body art gave him. If he didn't even have this confidence to win no matter what, he wouldn't be fit to cultivate the nine-star hegemon body art. I knew that senior apprentice brother Long Chen was unrivaled. He can definitely defeat true immortal Jiaoki, exclaimed Qi Xuan confidently. Qi Feng Su acted like she didn't hear Qi Zuan's words. This girl was always living in her own fantasy world. Ever since she had witnessed Long Chen's battle outside Clearwind City, she had viewed him as a god. If just true immortal Jiaoki is unable to make you retreat, what if Ziluo is added on top of that? Sighed Chi Feng Su. Ziluo Chi Xuan immediately quivered upon hearing this name, a fearful expression creeping across her face. Ziluo, that fellow from the corrupt path with the evil spirit body. The one who has never lost to anyone in the same realm. Long Chen suddenly thought of a certain person. Hu Jinying had once warned Long Chen about this Zi Luo. He was the descendant of the corrupt path's leader. 
Zi Wentian. Zi Wentian was the one leading the whole corrupt path. He was practically a living fossil. It had been thousands of years since he had last shown his face. He was an extremely terrifying and mysterious existence. As for his descendant, Zi Luo, it was said that he had been tossed into an evil cave in his childhood. He had obtained the evil spirit body at the age of eight and gained an unbreakable body. He had killed countless people, and his name terrified the righteous path. That's right. He has also entered. Although I didn't see him, I saw the corpses of several experts. They only had a single small injury, but all their blood chi had been sucked away, turning them into desiccated corpses. They were also all powerful Empyreans. The corrupt character appeared on their foreheads as well, which is the specific mark that Zi Luo leaves on the people he kills. It must be him, said Chi Fengsu gravely. True immortal Jiaoki might have some misjivings about her status, but if she encountered Zi Luo, he definitely wouldn't care. He would definitely attack. Perhaps she might survive, but all the others with her would definitely die, including Chi Xuan. So Chi Fengsu had decided to bring her people away from here. With those two monsters present, she didn't feel any sense of safety. It was too dangerous. So she was also advising Long Chen to leave. If they left together, perhaps she might feel better in terms of honor. How is Zi Luo compared to Len Yuan? Asked Long Chen. He wasn't afraid of anyone in the corrupt path. He just didn't want to run into Len Yuan. One reason was because she was so terrifying and the other was that each time he encountered her, her power would have gone through heaven-toppling transformations. Last time, in the spirit world, they had only fought briefly. However, Len Yuan had been like a phantom when attacking. If he had been the slightest bit careless, he would have died to her sword. Other than that, Sovereign Yun Shang had said that he had left two treasures for Long Chen. One was Dragonbone Evil Moon, while one was Evil Moon's Dragon Soul Essence. Both of those were supposed to have been left with Long Chen, but Len Yuan had suddenly appeared and taken the Dragon Soul Essence. That was out of even Sovereign Yun Chang's expectations. The arrival of Len Yuan might very well have changed the future of the entire world. As for what use the Dragon Soul Essence had, Long Chen was disappointed to find that Evil Moon couldn't answer. At that time, Evil Moon had cursed Sovereign Yun Shang ferociously because Yun Shang had sealed a portion of its memories. In other words, Long Chen had no idea what kind of change Len Yuan had caused by taking the Dragon Soul Essence. No one knew what would happen. Although Len Yuan had said that she would no longer hunt him down, that referred only to the game between the two of them. It didn't include the fighting between the righteous and corrupt paths. So when the two paths fought, if he met Len Yuan on the battlefield, it would definitely be a battle to the death. If Long Chen fought Zi Luo, he wanted to know how Zi Luo was compared to Len Yuan so that he could prepare himself for the future. The two of them are both the greatest geniuses of the corrupt path. They've never exchanged blows because Len Yuan has been in seclusion for a very long time. She only appeared briefly for the Devil Abyss battle. As for Zi Luo, he didn't attend. So there's no way to judge who is stronger between them. However, if you ask me, Zi Luo should be stronger. Len Yuan is a genius who grew up from nothing. While Zi Luo was raised directly by the leader of the corrupt path. At the very least, there is an immense difference between their cultivation conditions. Deduced Chi Fengsu. Her deduction was backed by facts and reason. The cultivation world was truly like that. Talent was just one requirement for cultivation. Sometimes a powerful backer was even more important than talent. It seems the devil slaughter rankings really can't be taken too seriously. Many top experts didn't attend. Long Chen nodded. The ancient races, the corrupt path, the Xuan beasts, the blood kill hall. They all had only sent one expert to fight for the top 10. It was unknown just how many people with great power they were hiding. All right. Then thank you for this information. It seems the yin yang world will be very lively this time. I'm going to go see if those two fellows really have three heads and six arms. Long Chen stood with a faint smile. It seemed he had some true opponents this time. He felt his blood start to heat up. Chapter 1829 Mysterious Giant Nest Translator Born to be Long Chen. Are you really going? Chi Fengsu almost couldn't believe it. 
Either one of true immortal Jiaoki and Ziluo was capable of fighting him to the death. Encountering either one of them would be a miserable fight. If it was a one against one, Long Chen might have some chance of running even if he was defeated. However, if the two of them joined hands, he would definitely die. She wondered if it was due to an overinflated ego, or more accurately, whether he was simply ignorant of just how terrifying the two of them were. Both Ziluo and true immortal Jiaoki had terrifying foundations. They had received the best resources since their childhoods. Before the Xianchen realm, all their advancements had been perfect. As for Long Chen, he had been in the eastern wasteland, cultivating in one of the branches of the Xuanchen Dao sect. Those resources were garbage in comparison to what the two of them had been given. Chi Fengzu didn't know where Long Chen's confidence came from. Yes, I have to go. Long Chen nodded. He suddenly thought of the Xuan beast expert he had encountered outside the mist. There had been a small wound on him that had still been bleeding. Moreover, Long Chen had sensed a curse energy or some kind of poison within that blood. At that time, he had guessed that the wound was very likely caused by someone from the corrupt path. Now that he thought about it, he supposed that the only one capable of making a top expert of the Xuan beasts flee like that from a small wound was probably Ziluo. However, since they were enemies, they would have to face each other sooner or later. Sooner was better than later. Fine, then I won't try to change your mind. Here is a map. Although it's not complete, it should be able to help you. Chi Fengsu handed Long Chen a spiritual jade. This was a rather more extravagant method of mapping. Spiritual strength was used in this method, and it made the map clearer. Although Long Chen could count himself among the nouveau riche, he had not gotten used to using such luxurious methods. He thickened his skin and handed over his own map. It could count as an exchange of maps. Now you can see the general outline of the beast lair. There are three regions. The outer region with the mist. The middle region with the rock forest. And the core which is the real lair. The place we are in is the edge of the middle region. If you go straight, you'll enter the rock forest. I've exchanged this map with others before. As I didn't know what was beyond the rock forest. Said Chi Fengsu. In the search for Qi Xuan, Qi Fengsu had been searching around recklessly. She had encountered true immortal Jiaoki. True immortal Jiaoki had immediately launched a probing blow against her. After testing her power, he had left. Qi Fengsu also knew that true immortal Jiaoki was just testing her, but she was ashamed to find that while he had figured out her power level, she had yet to find out just how powerful he was. The difference in power between them was too great. Many thanks. This will save me a great deal of trouble. Long Chen cupped his hands toward her. Can I ask what you intend to do now? Chi Fengsu bitterly smiled. We'll go searching in another region. Even if there are great treasures here. Now that there are three monsters inside. I don't think we have any chance of getting them. There were now three monsters in this beast lair. True Immortal Jiaoki, Ziluo, and Long Chen. And those were just the ones that she knew of. There was no way to find out exactly how many monsters were inside. This was practically a lair of death. Even before seeing any treasure, she could already see plenty of danger. If she still charged in, the danger wouldn't be worth the potential gains. So Chi Fengsu wisely chose to leave. It wasn't even guaranteed that there was any treasure inside. But she knew that if Long Chen, True Immortal Jiaoki, and Ziluo were to meet, they would definitely have a heaven-shaking battle. The three of them would have achieved their goal of fighting whether or not there was a treasure. But as for herself, she would have only thrown herself into danger for nothing. Then I'll say goodbye here. I wish you good luck, said Long Chen. His time was precious. Chi Fengsu looked at Long Chen with a complicated expression. She didn't say anything else. She knew that Long Chen was determined to go find those two monsters. Perhaps the world of monsters wasn't something ordinary people could understand. Qi Xuan didn't want to part with Long Chen, and she actually wanted to go with him. She was harshly scolded by Qi Fengsu before crying. Long Chen felt it was funny and comforted Qi Xuan. Now wasn't a good time, but if they had a chance in the future, he would bring her around so that she could abuse his prestige to frighten others. Hearing that promise, Qi Xuan was delighted. She made a pinky swear with Long Chen. Chi Fengsu looked at Long Chen with surprise. 
She hadn't expected that this merciless and vicious man that dominated his generation would also have such a gentle side, because he knew that Qi Xuan was mentally only seven or eight years old. Long Chen treated her as a child. After Pinky swearing, he took his leave. He rushed toward the core according to the path on the map. Very quickly, he saw the rock forest Chi Fengsu had mentioned. It was truly a forest of rocks. The stones here stabbed into the sky like giant blades. Long Chen chose not to fly over the stones. That would make him too obvious. Who knew whether someone had laid down a trap here? He quickly advanced through the stones. But because there were so many of them, his speed dropped. On his way through, he noticed quite a few experts hiding behind the rocks. When they sensed him passing, they became still, but they couldn't escape his senses. Those people were traveling through the rocks very cautiously. No one dared to stroll through as brazenly as Long Chen. Long Chen felt quite a few divine senses sweep over him, but they quickly pulled back, most likely retreating when they recognized him. As he continued onward, he saw more and more experts. They came from various sects and powers. He even sensed the aura of the Blood Kill Hall's assassins. It took him half a day of rushing to get past the rock forest. What replaced it was a giant nest. Even with Long Chen's previous experience, he jumped when he saw this nest. It was absolutely gigantic, easily soaring above the clouds. Furthermore, what he was currently seeing was just the tip of the iceberg. Standing in front of this nest, he felt himself to be minuscule. The nest was so big that he couldn't tell what kind of nest it was. However, its entire body was snow white, like fine jade. It still had light flowing within it. It's actually made of bone. Furthermore, those bones belonged to extremely terrifying magical beasts. A chill ran through Long Chen. This giant nest was composed of endless bones. He had no idea what kind of pressure had been forced onto them to make them into bone walls. It looked as if the bones had been melted together so that they were seamless. This kind of pressure, they have to be the bones of magical beasts that reached at least the twelfth rank. Long Chen examined the nest with shock. Just how many magical beast bones would it take to build such a giant nest? Just what level was the master of this nest? I have to hurry on in. There are definitely treasures here. I can't let others get them first. Long Chen's figure vanished. He rushed toward the cave. The closer he got, the more shocked he became. This giant nest possessed a terrifying pressure that caused the surrounding space to be in constant fluctuation. It was a no-fly zone. Within this region, it might be possible to glide, but it would take up thousands of times the amount of energy it would normally. As he got closer, he found that the nest was even more monstrous than he had thought. It took him two full hours to finally reach it. There was a large cave hundreds of miles wide. Even 12th rank magical beasts would be able to easily enter such a giant cave. Once he entered the cave, he saw that it continued onward, wriggling through the nest. He didn't know where it was leading him. Long Chen took out a sword, following the cave as he rapidly advanced. A fork appeared in the path ahead. Here, people had left behind all kinds of marks. There were some colorful dyes present. It's a maze. Long Chen was surprised. These were definitely marks left behind by experts to mark where they had come from. This is no good. I'll need to take a risk. Long Chen suddenly clenched his teeth. His spiritual strength fully erupted. His divine sense rapidly spread through the paths. This was an extremely dangerous method. If he was noticed by others and they attacked his divine sense, they could easily injure his soul. Long Chen's divine sense quickly reached through the two channels, and he found a four-way fork. His spiritual strength continued to scatter throughout all the channels, and he quickly found more forks in the path. Long Chen saw the endless paths in his mind that spread like a spider web. There were many paths, many of which crossed each other, and some even led back to the outside, making it a waste of his time. It was no wonder people were leaving marks on the forks. Boom. Long Chen's mind see suddenly shook. An expert had launched an attack on his divine sense, wanting to cut off his exploration. Attaching spiritual strength to his divine sense was a kind of extended soul art. It was easy for others to sense it. When Long Chen's divine sense went past that expert, that person had condensed his spiritual strength into a sword to attack him. 
the results of this attack made that person's expression completely change. His attack was actually unable to cut off Long Chen's divine sense probing. Before he could unleash a second attack, Long Chen's cold voice rang out around him. If you don't want to die, get the hell out of my way. Chapter 1830 Marrow Cleansing Pool Translator Born to be Long Chen used his spiritual strength to express his will, causing that person's expression to completely change. Long Chen's icy face appeared in his mind. He was unable to sever Long Chen's spiritual probing. He was someone from the ancient family alliance. After learning that this divine sense belonged to Long Chen, he no longer dared to continue attacking him. Although things were tense between the ancient family alliance and the martial heaven alliance, things hadn't fully fractured yet. They weren't at war. As for this person, he was now afraid. If Long Chen charged over to him, he would definitely die. The expert stood to the side, allowing Long Chen's divine sense to continue onward. As his divine sense spread further, it encountered more and more experts. Most of them attacked. Long Chen didn't bother hiding his spiritual fluctuations, and after attacking, they all knew who the master of this divine sense was. A few of the righteous experts stopped upon learning it was Long Chen's divine sense. However, some were crazily attacking when they knew it was him. HMPH. So what if you're Long Chen? You must be dreaming if you think you can cheat like this. Many experts attacked, not letting Long Chen's divine sense get past them. His divine sense was now split into thousands of strands, so there was no way for him to resist the full strength attack of other experts. Once the strands were severed, he couldn't see any further into that path. Long Chen ignored those people and continued spreading his divine sense. He found that tens of thousands of experts had entered this giant nest. There were people from the ancient races, the corrupt path, the ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts, and all sorts of other powers. Long Chen even sensed a few powerful flame cultivators who had to come from Pill Valley. Some avoided his divine sense, but others crazily attacked it instead. Some who were skilled in the aspects of the soul even launched spiritual attacks on him following his divine sense to strike his mind see. However, as soon as they tried that, Long Chen would sever that strand of divine sense, not letting them locate him. It wasn't that he was afraid of them, but that he didn't have the time to bother with them. Furthermore, with his spiritual strength spread so widely, he had lost the ability to fight with them spiritually. Fortunately, just his name was enough to frighten off quite a few experts from the ancient family alliance and they let his divine sense pass. As for the righteous experts, over 90% let him be. Only a few irritating fellows attacked to sever his divine sense. Despite so many people blocking his divine sense, he still managed to get a general grasp of this nest. It was truly a giant complicated maze. The people inside were like ants crawling within it. There were countless paths, and it was completely chaotic. As his divine sense continued spreading, it covered a larger and larger area. Finally, his divine sense reached an area hundreds of miles above him. There, he saw an empty space. But before he could get a clear view of this space, his heart skipped a beat. That was because he saw a giant multicolored bird currently fighting intensely. Cloud. Long Chen couldn't help letting out a shout. It was the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. Boom. Cloud's giant wings came crashing down with amazing power but she was sent flying, smashing into the wall. Feathers were falling off of her body. Long Chen's heart shook. Cloud had advanced to the 10th rank, and her innate divine abilities had started to awaken, making her incredibly powerful. When she summoned her true body like this, her power was such that even Gu Yang and the others would only be able to force her back. Who was capable of making her unable to receive a single blow? Long Chen had barely managed to glance at who was in the air when a spiritual arrow pierced through his divine sense. Did you think some weak soul arts could stop me? If I didn't want you alive, you wouldn't have been able to last three exchanges. Long Chen heard an icy voice resound through the air. An illusory figure entered his sight, fighting a giant drake. However, when the drake opened its mouth, it emitted a piercing ray of light that blasted apart the illusory image. Long Chen saw Men Chi slowly descend from the sky. She stood on top Cloud's head, her expression grave. 
Long Chen's expression changed as he withdrew his divine sense. Then, lightning wings appeared on his wings and he pushed his speed to his peak. The reason for his abrupt change in expression was because Men Qi's opponent was the true immortal Jiaoki of the Xuan Beasts. Men Qi looked at the supreme heavenly genius of the Xuan Beasts gravely. In just three exchanges, she and Cloud had been defeated. She felt powerless. This true immortal Jiaoki had an ancestral spirit protecting him. Her spiritual attacks were completely ineffective. As for just Cloud on her own, she was unable to defeat true immortal Jiaoki. True immortal Jiaoki had created a domain around them through brute force. There was no way for them to run. Cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. Traitor of the Xuan beasts. We let you escape last time. But this time, I'll make you live a life worse than death so that the world can see how traitors are punished. Said true immortal Jiaoki. He clasped his hands behind his back. Feeling completely confident. You evil people. You were the ones who coveted our race's treasures. How dare you call us traitors? Raged Cloud. Divine light flowed around Cloud. She had entered her strongest state and was almost berserk. Her hatred for the Xuan beasts was more intense than anyone. When the Xuan beasts had captured her last time, they hadn't dared to initiate a soul sark. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race had placed restrictions on everything related to their ancestral land. That was something that had allowed them to survive while being hunted by the Xuan beasts. The memories relating to their ancestral land were completely sealed. If someone forcibly conducted a soul sark on them, it would cause their soul to crumble. So cloud secrets could only be obtained through torture. Those days of pain and despair were a time that she would never be able to forget in this lifetime. Now seeing someone from the Xuan beasts, she didn't care how strong he was. She was fearless. Her hatred drove her to be almost crazy. The pain she had gone through was something that only she knew. Cloud, don't be impulsive. Long Chen's coming. We just need to stall. Men Qi sent Cloud a spiritual message. Just now, she had sensed Long Chen's spiritual fluctuations. Although they hadn't spoken, she knew that Long Chen was aware of what was happening. For his spiritual fluctuations to suddenly vanish, it meant that he was already rushing over. The reason he hadn't said anything was because he was worried about true immortal Jiaoki sensing it. Men Qi knew Long Chen well. True immortal Jiaoki, do you really think you can kill us? Men Qi stood grandly at Op Cloud's head. Her robes were snow white. She was a peerless beauty. No, I won't kill you. At least not yet. If I kill you, I'll do it in front of Long Chen. I'll make him see his beloved woman have her head cut off right in front of him. I'm sure his expression at that time will be very marvelous true immortal Jiaoki smiled. His vertical eyes were icy, making him seem like a cold-blooded viper. If that's the case, then all the Xuan beasts will be annihilated by Long Chen. Men Qi smiled lightly. Despite it being a cold smile, it still made her seem like a flower blooming. I don't have time to waste. Ziluo has also entered the nest. Once I kill you. I'll be taking the treasures here and then continuing onward. I can already sense that the true treasure is above. True immortal Jiaoki's manifestation slowly appeared. The image of a drake appeared. Its aura growing stronger and stronger. Men Qi suddenly found difficult to breathe as she was a soul cultivator with a weak physical body. If it weren't for Cloud helping her, she would have long since been unable to resist. She might have even been crushed by this pressure. HMPH you don't even know what kind of nest this is, nor do you know what that ancient pool behind you is. I guarantee that if you were to touch the water in that pool, this marrow cleansing pool would immediately crumble. You wouldn't obtain anything, said Men Qi confidently. The pool that she spoke of was at the core of this large space. There were eight entrances to this area. In other words, of the thousands of channels here, only eight led here. The pool itself was almost dried up. Only at the center was there a 3 meter deep and 30 meter long pool of water. There was some kind of almost gelatin like fluid within the water, and it contained the aura of primal chaos. It was definitely a treasure. Men Qi and true immortal Jiaoki had noticed this place at the same time. This had naturally resulted in a bitter fight between the two of them, Novaloon.com. Regretfully, with her spiritual attacks having zero effect, Men Qi was at an absolute disadvantage. 
She was forced into desperate straits by true immortal Jayaoki. When Meng Chi said that this was a marrow cleansing pool, true immortal Jayaoki's pupils narrowed slightly. Meng Chi was a beast tamer and knew even more than him when it came to magical beasts and Xuan beasts. HMPH, don't think you can trick me. True immortal Jayaoki suddenly sneered. He extended a hand, and his palm became covered by Drake scales. A giant palm image filled this space, smashing toward Meng Chi. This was a powerful divine item, and in front of it, even clouds seemed minuscule. The power behind this one palm caused the entire nest to shake. Boom. Cloud opened its mouth. A black thread of light shot out like a divine sword, but it shattered upon contact with that palm. You might be from the heaven-swallowing race, but your bloodline is impure. You're unable to unleash the full power of your divine abilities. Accept your fates. True immortal Jayaoki smiled coldly. The heaven-swallowing race's divine abilities were frightening, but Cloud's bloodline was too impure to unleash their full potential. The difference between his bloodline power and hers was like the difference between heaven and earth. Just as the giant palm was about to capture Menchi and Cloud, a streak of lightning appeared in front of them. A giant golden dragon tooth stabbed into the giant palm. Chapter 1831 Your head's not very good translator. Born to be golden light erupted as the dragon tooth stabbed into the huge palm. It instantly pierced through and continued toward true immortal Jayaoki. The sudden change made his expression change. The dragon tooth was as sharp as a sword, and an evil aura came from it that made his hair stand on end. Bang! Golden light illuminated this space. It was as if everything had been turned golden. Golden scales had appeared on top of true immortal Jayaoki's fist. It was unknown what divine ability he had used. However, some of those golden scales had cracked, and a bit of blood leaked out. He was slightly injured. True immortal Jayaoki shook his hand. He stared at a black-robed figure that slowly revealed itself as the golden light faded. He was carrying a very strange golden bone sword. Long Chen. True immortal Jayaoki smiled cruelly. I didn't expect you to send yourself straight to me. Good. Very good. Long Chen coldly stared at true immortal Jayaoki. But in truth, he was filled with shock. True immortal Jayaoki was truly powerful. Those golden scales emitted immense pressure, and their aura was very similar to Long Chen's dragon scales when he activated the green dragon battle armor. Moreover, the golden scales were even stronger since true immortal Jayaoki was able to receive the dragon tooth barehanded. That meant true immortal Jayaoki didn't just possess great defense but also shocking power. It was no wonder Chi Fengsu had repeatedly advised Long Chen not to come here. I also feel like it's very good. We can save time and fight to the death here. Long Chen's divine ring appeared, and dragon scales covered his body as he directly summoned the green dragon battle armor. The dragon tooth unleashed a wave of golden light as he slashed it at true immortal Jayaoki. When it comes to power, you aren't even close to my match. True immortal Jayaoki sneered as golden scales covered his entire body. His 10 meter body looked like it was made of gold. After that, he directly smashed his fist at the dragon tooth. Boom. His giant fist was like a huge mountain. A massive chi wave erupted, knocking Long Chen back. It took him five steps to stabilize himself after being knocked back. However, true immortal Jayaoki was still standing in his original location. He wasn't affected in the slightest. Power is the forte of the Xuan beasts. You humans are ants in front of us. Do you know how laughable you are in front of me? sneered true immortal Jayaoki. He suddenly shot forward. All the scales on his body lit up as the power of his blood chi erupted. He unleashed a raging punch, one even more terrifying than his last punch. Long Chen slashed the dragon tooth three times, unleashing three waves of golden light. Insignificant. Long Chen, you aren't fit to be my opponent. True immortal Jayaoki ignored Long Chen's attacks. His fist continued onward. Three explosive sounds rang out. Long Chen's attacks all exploded when they struck true immortal Jayaoki's fist. Golden light drowned this space. How disappointing. Long Chen, if this is all you have, you've really let me down. True immortal Jayaoki suddenly switched to his other fist. Although his punch had broken Long Chen's attacks, those attacks had exhausted 30% of its power. That wasn't enough to pose a fatal danger to Long Chen. 
He thought that since Long Chen didn't dare to directly receive his punch, he was trying to weaken it first before receiving it. Did Long Chen not realize that he had another fist? Weakening his attack like this might be skillful, but it was a joke. He had heard that Long Chen was brave, but now he felt him to be a rabbit. True immortal Jiaoki, you shouldn't always only look at the surface, otherwise, you'll suffer sooner or later. Your power is alright, but your head's not very good. Countless rays of light suddenly shot out of the dragon tooth, slashing a true immortal Jiaoki. At the same time, Long Chen retreated, refusing to face him head on. You're trying to provoke me? How childish. True immortal Jiaoki was unstoppable with just his two fists. All of Long Chen's attacks were smashed apart. Just as he was smashing apart the golden rays, he suddenly realized something was off. Everything around him was drowned out by golden light. He couldn't see past it. Damn it. True immortal Jiaoki suddenly had a thought. He turned back, and as expected, he saw Meng Chi within the marrow cleansing pool. By that time, the strange fluid within it had already vanished. True immortal Jiaoki let out a furious howl. He realized that Long Chen's attacks had just been to draw his attention away so that Meng Chi could take the treasure. He had actually fallen for it. He had just shifted his attention to attack Meng Chi when the space behind him shook. A sensation of mortal danger rose in his heart, and he hastily looked back. He saw Long Chen holding a cyan brick and smashing it toward him. It quickly transformed to become gigantic. What true immortal Jiaoki didn't have time to react after having his attention focused on Meng Chi. All he could do was raise his arms above his head to block it. As a result, the heaven flipping seal smashed into him directly. True immortal Jiaoki shot off like a shooting star, smashing into the ground. The ground was made of the bones of terrifying magical beasts, so it was incredibly tough. As a result, True immortal Jiaoki didn't even leave a mark on the ground before he bounced and flew even further, tumbling through the air. This impact caused the injury that Long Chen had given him to worsen. His fury immediately soared. He had actually been schemed against by Long Chen, and he had fallen for it. Moreover, Meng Chi had taken the treasure in this space. He now thought back to what Long Chen had just said. True immortal Jiaoki, you shouldn't always look only at the surface. Otherwise, you'll suffer sooner or later. Your power is alright, but your head's not very good. He almost went crazy with rage. He crawled to his feet with a furious roar, looking all around. After that, he coughed up a mouthful of blood when he noticed that Long Chen, Meng Chi, and Cloud had already vanished. This room was empty. You bastard Long Chen, pray you don't fall into my hands. True immortal Jiaoki's furious roar shook the room. All of a sudden, his spiritual strength surged out through the eight passageways leading to this world. He quickly managed to locate Long Chen and Meng Chi standing on Cloud's back. They were rapidly flying away. The instant his divine sense found them, Meng Chi flung out an arm. A spiritual arrow shot out. Bang! The spiritual arrow exploded through the channel. Countless soul runes appeared and charged into true immortal Jiaoki's mind. See, fuck. True immortal Jiaoki clutched his head. He had no idea what magical art Meng Chi had used. But those soul runes had managed to follow his spiritual strength back to his mind. See, the Xuan beasts did not specialize in spiritual strength. So his spiritual strength was weak. If it weren't for the protection of his ancestral soul, which had helped him block Meng Chi's spiritual attacks, Meng Chi and Cloud together would have managed to crush him. However, in his fury, he had sent his own spiritual strength out, allowing Meng Chi to strike back at him. True immortal Jiaoki smashed the ground in his anger. Killing intent surged in his eyes. The spiritual strength he had sent out had been separated from him. It was equivalent to having his soul torn apart. However, there had been no way around this. If he had allowed Meng Chi's attack to fully invade his mind see, he would have been powerless to do anything. His ancestral soul would only be able to slowly suppress her power, which would just waste his time. He was forced to sever the spiritual strength he had sent out. He shot into motion, chasing after them. Long Chen and Meng Chi stood on Cloud's back. Cloud had shrunk to just 30 meters, allowing her to nimbly fly through this cave system. Unfortunately, there were too many twists and turns. 
Cloud was unable to use her full speed like that. Long Chen had his hands pressed against the back of Men Qi's head. He was giving his spiritual strength to her. Men Qi's own divine sense was rapidly spreading throughout the cave system. Her spiritual arts were practically divine. She was ten times faster than him at this, and her precise control allowed her to brush her divine sense past some experts without them even noticing. With the support of Long Chen's spiritual strength, Men Qi quickly scanned the nest. She immediately found another large room like the one that they had been in. It was directly above that room. The two of them weren't that far apart physically, but the winding channels meant that it would take a while to reach it. It's him. She had just noticed the second room when she also noticed a figure wrapped in a sinister and bloody air. When her divine sense reached him, that person suddenly raised his head, revealing a face like a desiccated corpse. He opened his mouth, and a blood arrow shot out at Men Qi's spiritual strength. Bang! Men Qi reacted quickly. Her spiritual strength quickly retreated, curling away from that person's attack. That blood arrow ended up striking the bone wall. A web of blood strands appeared on the wall and rapidly spread in every direction. What terrifying curse energy! exclaimed Men Qi. It seems he's the corrupt path supreme expert, Ziluo, said Long Chen somewhat gravely. This man was definitely an extremely terrifying existence. Chapter 1832 King of the Corrupt Path Translator Born to be this Ziluo gave Long Chen a feeling of great danger. That feeling was even greater than what he felt from true immortal Jiaoki. No wonder Chi Fengsu said that Ziluo's power should be even greater than Len Yuian's. He's definitely powerful. Ziluo was surrounded by an evil air like a fiend from hell. The curse power he had just released gave Men Qi goosebumps. I encountered this person before. He unleashed an evil technique, killing a large mass of experts. Back then, only myself and an expert from the Xuan Beasts managed to escape. I had my spiritual strength and cloud speed, allowing me to escape. But that Xuan Beast expert was struck by Zi Luo's bone needle. He then used his brute power to charge back into the misty region, said Men Qi. The evil spiritual art that Zi Luo had used back then had paralyzed people's souls. Although Men Qi didn't fear any soul art, Zi Luo's soul energy contained a terrifying curse energy that she couldn't touch. Hence, she had been forced to run. She hadn't expected him to have directly charged into the second level. He's very crafty. He probably noticed true immortal Jiaoki on the first level. So he gave up on the first level to get the second level's treasure. Now what asked Men Qi, their smartest decision would be to retreat now. Just true immortal Jiaoki was so powerful. If this terrifying overlord of the corrupt path was added into the mix, Men Qi and Long Chen would be pincered between them. Naturally we have to fight over the treasures. Who cares who they are? Even if they were Yama kings, they wouldn't be able to snatch away my treasures. Long Chen started pulling Men Qi forward, but he suddenly stopped. This is no good. We won't get there in time. Long Chen had stopped because he found that with Zi Luo's head start, if they continued down this channel, Zi Luo would definitely get the treasure first. Both of you get back. Cloud. Protect Men Qi Long Chen suddenly unleashed his divine ring, and his spiritual strength burst forth. One of the dragon teeth appeared in his hands, and this time, it actually let out a majestic dragon roar. It unleashed a giant pillar of light that stabbed into the wall. This time, Long Chen was unleashing the full power of the dragon tooth. The sturdy wall was pierced through, revealing another channel. Buzz. Suddenly, another dragon roar came from the dragon tooth. It actually slashed toward Long Chen. I just knew you would rebel. Long Chen sneered and circulated his spiritual strength. The slave seal on it lit up, suppressing it. However, now that the dragon tooth's power had been fully activated, the will within it had also been woken. It was fighting intensely against the slave seal, and the suppression was taking effect very slowly. Let me help. Men Qi formed hand seals, and her spiritual strength merged with Long Chen's. She was the true soul cultivator, and with her skill, the two of them instantly sealed the dragon tooth. Long Chen put away the dragon tooth. Inside, he was quite stunned. No wonder Evil Moon had said that the metal-devouring evil dragon's teeth were their most precious treasures. This one attack proved that Evil Moon was correct. 
the dragon teeth were incredibly powerful. In order to maintain their full divine nature, Long Chen had no choice but to slowly grind away the will within the teeth. He couldn't use the primal chaos space to completely suppress it. If he did, then a portion of its divine nature would be erased as well. They would be dead objects. Their power would sharply drop. Although right now he couldn't use their full power, they could still unleash their maximum power if he was careful. Long Chen, you open a path. I'll help you to fully refine this dragon tooth. Men Chi suddenly wrapped her arms around Long Chen. Her spiritual strength flowed into his mind sea. Their spiritual strengths merged together. She was sacrificing a large amount of her spiritual strength to help Long Chen quickly refine the dragon tooth. She had personally seen how powerful this dragon tooth was. If she could help Long Chen fully refine it, Long Chen would be in command of an absolutely amazing divine item. Originally, Long Chen had wanted her not to sacrifice so much spiritual strength. Although she was a soul cultivator, this was still a huge amount of energy to her. But when he thought about it, there would be an immense battle soon. For him to obtain a good weapon for it was too important. Cloud brought them flying forward. After half an incense stick's worth of time, Meng Chi sighed and released Long Chen. Her face was slightly pale and covered in sweat. She was exhausted, but she smiled. In just that short time, she had used up a full 70% of her spiritual strength, while Long Chen had also used up 40% of his. Any more spiritual strength and Meng Qi's power would have been gravely affected, so she had been forced to draw on some of Long Chen's spiritual strength. With her precise control, the dragon tooth's will had been fully erased. Now there was no chance of it rebelling when he used it. It would listen to Long Chen's orders. However, while it had reached the point that it was subservient, to reach the point where it would fully cooperate with Long Chen to unleash the greatest possible power would take much longer. He would need to slowly nourish its item spirit. Only then could he unleash the dragon tooth's full potential. At this time, Cloud arrived in a large palace. This palace made Meng Chi let out a startled cry. At the center of this palace was a giant stone mountain. There were beautiful feathers growing out of the stone mountain. Each feather was 30 meters long with a gorgeous blue color. There was a spirituality within the blue light that made the feathers look dreamlike. Although Long Chen didn't recognize what these feathers were, he knew that each of them was an absolute treasure. These feathers were emitting the terrifying aura of 12th rank magical beasts. Hence, their owner had definitely reached the 12th rank. These are blue eye true feathers. Yes, they must be the true feathers of the ancient beast, the blue eye peacock exclaimed Meng Chi. Who cares about blue eyes? Hurry and take them. I'll stall him. Once you gather them, we have to hurry onward. There's definitely more treasure. After saying that, Long Chen summoned lightning wings and charged toward an opposing channel. As soon as he entered it, he raised his hand. A golden flame sphere was born. Boom. Before it was fully grown, he prematurely launched it, making it explode through the channel. The golden flames ignited the entire channel. From within the golden flames, a blood-colored hand appeared, brushing aside the flames and revealing a withered figure. This person was very tall but as skinny as a withered corpse. His hand looked like withered bamboo, but it was the bright scarlet color of blood. He was surrounded by a terrifying blood chi. He was Ziluo. His eyes were very deep-set and almost dried up. However, there was an icy light within them. He had just brushed aside Long Chen's flame rampart when an even more dazzling light appeared. A dragon tooth roared toward him Noveloon.com CM seeing that dragon tooth. Ziluo didn't dodge. His withered hand raised. And just as the dragon tooth was about to pierce his hand, a black rune appeared on it. That rune twisted and wriggled as if it was alive. At the same time, an illusory blood figure appeared behind Ziluo. It superimposed with him and it also sent a palm forward, mimicking his movements. Boom. Ziluo was blown back a dozen meters, but the dragon tooth was also sent flying. Long Chen had to catch it. When he caught it, his expression changed. The dragon tooth had actually been infected by black chi that was rapidly spreading. He's even able to curse an item spirit. Long Chen jumped in shock. Ziluo had actually transmitted curse energy into the dragon tooth in that one instant of contact. And that wasn't all. 
the curse energy was now spreading to him. Long Chen raised a hand. Lightning flashed, forcing out black curse runes from the dragon tooth. They began to melt like snow in boiling water. The curse energy was quickly cleansed. Thunder force circulated behind Long Chen, forming giant waves. A lightning sea filled this channel. Long Chen once more went to block Ziluo with the dragon tooth, wielding it like a sword. Long Chen, Ziluo narrowed his eyes slowly. His mouth moved. Most likely, it was supposed to be a smile, but his skin was taut against his bones. He couldn't smile. That appearance was hair-raising. Good. Your corpse will be an excellent addition to my collection. Become my corpse king. Ziluo's voice was as painful to listen to as iron scraping against itself. The illusory figure behind him suddenly waved a hand, its aura growing wildly. Millions of bone lances shot toward Long Chen. Those bone lances were small, only a foot long. Rather than calling them bone lances, they should be called large bone needles. Each one of them was completely covered in countless black runes. Those bone needles rained down on Long Chen. There was no way for him to dodge so many of them. Watch out, Long Chen. Those bone needles are a combination of a physical attack and a spiritual attack. Just blocking one is useless Men Qi's voice transmitted into his mind. Chapter 1833 Top of the Nest Translator Born to be Boom Long Chen repeatedly swung the dragon tooth, blasting the bone needles into bone powder. However, that bone powder wasn't really bone powder. Instead, those broken pieces transformed into smaller needles. Men Qi was busy gathering the blue eye true feathers, the strongest feathers of the blue eye peacock, a twelfth rank magical beast. Those true feathers were where its life's cultivation base and divine abilities were gathered. As for that rock they were inserted in, it had caused them to enter a slumbering state. Men Qi was using up a huge amount of spiritual strength to gather them without waking them up. If she hadn't helped Long Chen refine the dragon tooth before, she would have it much easier. But now she wasn't capable of moving that quickly. There were a total of 999 true feathers. Just as she gathered the last true feather, she saw the endless bone needles. She couldn't help letting out a cry. Back when she had previously encountered Ziluo, there had only been thousands of bone needles, and each one of them had been terrifying. She had been forced to use her spiritual strength to slow them down and flee relying on cloud speed. Even one of the strongest Xuan beast experts to enter here had been injured after using a divine ability to attack the bone needles. With his powerful physical body, he had barely managed to flee. The most terrifying aspect of Ziluo's bone needles was that they were a combination of a physical and spiritual attack. When one of the bone needles exploded, it unleashed another spiritual and physical attack. There was no way to dodge. The curse energy on the bone needles would cause a person to instantly become absent-minded. In a fight against experts, that one instant was the difference between life and death. Meng Chi had some regrets now about coming here. She hadn't managed to fully describe just how powerful Zi Luo was to Long Chen. Now they were in trouble. Suddenly, the roar of a dragon shook this room. A wild lightning dragon coiled around Long Chen, protecting Long Chen from the endless bone needles. Those bone needles exploded upon contact with Lai Long's body. Both their spiritual and physical aspects were blown apart. It was only the larger foot-long bone needles that Long Chen hadn't previously destroyed that didn't immediately explode. Instead, when they stabbed into Lai Long's body, they started to crack. Zi Luo's expression changed. He had never encountered such a powerful thunder force. His unstoppable bone needles had met their bane. Long Chen's thunder force was no longer ordinary lightning. It contained a trace of divine power. The curse energy on the bone needles might not be afraid of ordinary lightning, but in front of divine lightning, there was no way for it to resist. Zi Luo snorted coldly. A blood-colored curved saber appeared in his hand, and a sinister aura erupted out of it as though millions of ghouls were wailing. This was a terrifying evil weapon. Its murderous aura was not inferior to Evil Moon. The blood red saber fell, unleashing a blood moon that slashed toward Lai Long. Lai Long instantly exploded. Even it was unable to block that blood red saber Noveloon.com however, as it exploded, it unleashed countless sparks. When those sparks faded, Long Chen had already vanished. Bastard. He actually ran. 
Zi Luo's expression was grim. He had no idea when Long Chen had escaped. Long Chen had used the lightning dragon to draw Zi Luo's attention while he himself left. Considering the divine nature of Long Chen's thunder force, it was impossible to probe beyond it spiritually. So after Long Chen had been wrapped around by the lightning dragon, Zi Luo had lost his ability to sense Long Chen's existence. He had taken out such a powerful trump card, but Long Chen had fled an unknown time ago. He was infuriated. Fuck, this bastard's definitely going to the third floor. Zi Luo's expression suddenly changed. He thought of the crux of the problem. An expert on Long Chen's level wouldn't choose to flee. Fleeing was equivalent to accepting that he had been defeated. Perhaps it might be nothing to others, but for peerless experts, a single defeat could be a fatal blow to their Dao hearts. Of course, if he had other reasons, as long as those reasons were strong enough, running wouldn't affect him at all, let alone cause a heart devil. Boom. Suddenly, the ground collapsed, and a large figure charged out. It was true immortal Jiaoki who had previously been thrown off by Long Chen. Because his spiritual strength wasn't powerful, even if no one blocked his divine sense, he was unable to cover the entire nest instantly. All he could do was probe the channels as he flew. There he had noticed the palace on the second level, and he had seen Meng Chi gathering the blue eye true feathers. In order to fight over them, he had charged his way through the walls. His body was covered in Killin scales now, and he had summoned a halberd. It was something created from a Killin horn. The tough walls were broken through one by one. However, he was still one step too late. Long Chen and Meng Chi had already run off. Trash. True immortal Jiaoki glanced at Zi Luo disdainfully. He suddenly charged to the roof, stabbing the Killin halberd above him. Boom. The roof was pierced through, revealing a channel. The area above the palace on the second floor was also filled with channels. True immortal Jiaoki no longer had the patience to search for the right path. He was using up a great deal of energy to charge through with berserk force. A glint of killing intent appeared in Zi Luo's eyes, but he controlled his anger. His lips curled in disdain. He saw that true immortal Jiaoki was just charging up with brute power. He wasn't choosing the correct channels. Boom. Zi Luo's blood red blade also slashed up at the roof. He charged into a channel. Long Chen was pulling Meng Chi as he flew onward. Meng Chi had already sent Cloud back into her spiritual space. These channels were growing narrower as they went, and Cloud was unable to show off her speed in these channels. Because of it, Long Chen was faster. Damn, they're both getting serious. Long Chen could hear the explosive sounds coming from below. When his divine sense reached out, he saw the two of them breaking through the walls with brute force. Their efficiency was quite shocking. Long Chen, maybe we should leave? We've got the marrow cleansing essence which can help Cloud reforge her skeleton and greatly upgrade her potential. As for the blue eye true feathers, they're an even more priceless treasure. Each one of the feathers was the strongest true feather of a 12th rank blue eye peacock. Once I refine them, I'll be strong enough to protect myself against even the strongest opponents. We don't need to take any more risks, said Meng Chi. Due to gathering the blue eye true feathers and refining the dragon tooth, Meng Chi had used up a great deal of her spiritual strength. She was almost exhausted. Right now, Long Chen was slowly transmitting some of his own spiritual strength to her. That would affect his own combat power. Two of their strongest enemies were right below chasing them. If Long Chen continued to compete with them over the next treasure, things would be even more dangerous. Don't worry, let's first see what the treasure is. If it's suitable, we have to take it. If it's not, we'll destroy it. Long Chen smiled sinisterly. If he couldn't obtain the treasure, no one else could, especially not those two. But we, Meng Chi felt a bit guilty. Her strongest aspect, her spiritual strength was completely suppressed by the two of them, so she couldn't help. It's fine, I can handle them. If I want to get through, no one in this world will be able to stop me. Trust me. Long Chen tightened his arm around Meng Qi's waist, helping her to be at ease. He had his own trump cards, and he wasn't afraid. Seeing his smile, Meng Qi felt comforted. Long Chen had changed over the years, but that smile hadn't changed. Stay behind me and summon Cloud. It's about time. We can't let them catch up. 
Long Chen suddenly summoned the dragon tooth again. It smashed into the wall. This time, Long Chen was also going all out. The dragon tooth forcibly made its own channel through the nest. He had no choice because he could see that idiot true immortal Jiaoki charging straight through the walls. Although that idiot was facing constant obstructions, his speed was actually quite quick. As for Ziluo, he avoided the thicker walls, saving him a great deal of energy. Although Long Chen had moved first, true immortal Jiaoki was actually reaching the target more quickly. With his divine sense, Long Chen managed to sense a giant platform up above. However, that platform had some kind of terrifying pressure that was blocking his divine sense from seeing anything more. He had no idea what was up there. When he tried to force it, his soul twinged and a great feeling of danger appeared. He hastily retracted his divine sense then. Long Chen was sure that there was a priceless treasure on the platform above. He poured his spiritual strength into the dragon tooth, fully activating its runes. Fortunately, the dragon tooth was incredibly sharp. Piercing through these walls wasn't too difficult for it. It was all thanks to Men Chi helping him fully refine it, or there was no way he could activate it like this. Finally, he broke through the final barrier. The passageway brightened. It was like there was a sun illuminating this space. He found that the third level was actually the top of the nest. He didn't even know how high up they were. Illuminated by the constant sunlight of the yin-yang world was a massive figure. A blue eye peacock. Seeing that massive figure, Men Chi let out a startled cry. Chapter 1834 Peacock Essence Blood Translator Born to be it was a giant peacock dozens of miles tall, completely covered in bright feathers. A beautiful light still came from it. Yet that mighty and sacred aura also contained a ferocious nature. It's a corpse. Long Chen recognized it as the corpse of a 12th rank magical beast. Its corpse was still fully intact. It had a pair of blue eyes that still seemed to contain life in them. Meng Chi, bring cloud to that blood pool. Long Chen suddenly noticed a giant blood pool ahead with immense blood chi within it. Its fluctuations were practically identical to the pressure of the blue eye peacock. From that. It could be assumed that the blood pool was created from the blue eye peacock's essence blood. Long Chen had no time to think why the corpse and essence blood were located at separate sides of the platform. It didn't make sense why they were so far apart. However, even if it didn't make sense, there was no time to consider it. Meng Chi and Cloud flew off to the blood pool, while Long Chen went to the blue eye peacock. Just as he moved, he noticed intense spatial fluctuations in the distance. That place formed a perfect triangle with the blue eye peacock's corpse and the blood pool. Long Chen could vaguely see a single feather within that twisted space. Is that this blue eye peacock's true feather? Long Chen suddenly changed plans. He charged toward that twisted space. Boom. Boom. Just at this moment, two figures charged out of the ground. Both of them immediately noticed the giant blue eye peacock's corpse. This corpse is mine. Zi Luo's eyes immediately lit up and he charged over. True immortal Jiaoki sneered and was about to fight over it with him when he glanced toward the distance. When he saw the blood pool, his pupils shrank. Get away from the essence blood and I'll spare your lives. True immortal Jiaoki immediately switched targets. He saw that this blood pool contained concentrated essence blood. The blue eye peacock was a beast from ancient times, and it was known for being cruel-natured and slaughtering countless life forms. In that time, it was capable of swallowing a whole city's life forms in one gulp. The blue eye peacock existed only in legend in the martial heaven continent, so seeing it personally was shocking. The purity of an ancient blue eye peacock's blood essence had to be amazing. To a Xuan beast, a single drop of that blood was a priceless treasure. Seeing the whole pool, true immortal Jiaoki was ecstatic. However, he was infuriated to see that Cloud had a head start. He charged over, having no interest in what direction Long Chen was going. That essence blood was a must-have for him. Cloud summoned her giant true body. Opening her mouth, she swallowed the pool of essence blood in one gulp, not leaving even a single drop behind. If other magical beasts or Xuan beasts tried to devour the essence blood like this, they would instantly explode. However, Cloud possessed the heaven-swallowing divine ability. This essence blood wasn't instantly digested or refined. Instead, 
it was stored in a separate space. Furthermore, there was a certain bloodline connection between the blue eye peacock and the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. Legend was that they were both descendants of the ancient phoenix. So Cloud was not attacked by the essence blood. Seeing this, true immortal Jayaoki let out a furious roar. For him, wanting to gather that essence blood would definitely cause it to fight back. If it had fought back against Cloud like that, he was confident in being able to obtain the majority of it. However, now all of it had been taken by Cloud in an instant. True immortal Jayaoki became anxious. His Drake illusory figure appeared behind him. He had to kill Cloud to get that essence blood back. If he had the assistance of the essence blood of this ancient beast, he could fully stimulate his bloodline, multiplying the power of his divine abilities. Then he would be able to dominate the land. Run. Long Chen sent Meng Chi a message. As soon as he had come up here, he had noticed that there was a mysterious barrier protecting the exterior of this giant nest. To enter here, you had to walk up the levels of the nest one by one. If you tried to fly up directly, you would be blocked by the barrier. Furthermore, flying to this height was impossible. You would be cut down by the spatial winds at this height. But what about you? Asked Meng Chi worriedly. Don't bother with me. You go first. I have my own way to leave. We can meet where we agreed afterward. Responded Long Chen. He had already reached the twisted space. He was standing in front of a long divine feather. Meng Chi looked from Long Chen to the furious true immortal Jayaoki, clenching her teeth. She had Cloud run. Cloud spread her wings. A golden light shot from her mouth. Boom. The exterior had looked calm. But when Cloud's attack flew out, it struck something and shattered into a million pieces. A giant barrier appeared in the sky, covering the entire nest. Fools. This nest is protected by a formation. You won't be able to escape. If you're smart. You'll immediately hand over the blue eye peacock's essence blood, roared true immortal Jayaoki. In just a few more seconds, he would be able to reach Cloud. He couldn't be the slightest bit careless at this moment. Other than him, there was also Long Chen and Zi Luo present. Zi Luo was currently trying to gather the corpse, but the blue eye peacock's corpse was shining brightly, and Zi Luo was having trouble approaching it. He was unleashing his full power just to gather it. If Zi Luo obtained the corpse while Long Chen obtained the feather, then their next move would be to come here. Long Chen would protect Meng Chi, while Zi Luo would also fight against him over the essence blood. So true immortal Jayaoki had to get the essence blood right this instant. Cloud didn't panic at all upon seeing her attack shatter. Instead, she sent a message to Long Chen. Big brother Long Chen, be careful. Buzz. Suddenly, all of Cloud's feathers blazed with light. She opened her mouth, shooting out a black circle. When that circle appeared, the world dimmed. Damn it, it's the heaven-swallowing Voidbreaker. True immortal Jayaoki cursed. He suddenly raised the Killin' Halberd. Attacking at this distance would definitely cause the attack power to drop and make it easier to dodge. But he had no choice. A giant Halberd image appeared in the sky, slashing down at Cloud. However, true immortal Jayaoki was still just slightly too slow. The black circle that Cloud had spat out struck the barrier, causing a black ripple to spread. It formed a giant fluctuating gate. Cloud and Meng Chi charged through that fluctuating gate. It was like they had entered water, and they vanished just like that. Once they vanished, the barrier returned to normal. True Immortal Jayaoki's attack struck the barrier, but his attack didn't cause the slightest ripple. Damn it. True Immortal Jayaoki roared. He clenched his teeth furiously. This barrier was too powerful to break. However, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race had a very monstrous innate divine ability that could construct a spatial channel. The spatial channel couldn't lead very far, at most a few hundred miles, but it could cause a spastime displacement, allowing cloud to slip past normal restrictions. No ordinary barriers were able to hold her. This was also another reason why the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrows were able to continue surviving in the outside world despite being surrounded several times. This kind of divine ability was something only those at the 11th rank were capable of using, and yet Cloud had used it at the 10th rank. Suddenly, rumbling sounds rang out. In the distance, Long Chen had a twisting spatial portal open behind him. 
The giant feather was currently entering the spatial portal. Bastard. Once I capture you, they'll be forced to hand over the essence blood. True immortal giant Oki suddenly charged at Long Chen. Long Chen was busy gathering the feather, but it possessed its own terrifying will. Long Chen had also used up too much of his spiritual strength, resulting in him feeling even greater pressure. Fortunately, his will was strong enough. The divine ring rumbled. No matter how ferocious the master of the feather had been while they had been alive, this feather still had to submit in front of Long Chen's will. Even though the feather itself knew it had no choice, it was still fighting back. Fuck. So you refused to give me face. Long Chen roared. He gave up pulling it into his spiritual space. Instead, a large black hole appeared behind his back. When that black hole appeared, the feather immediately stopped resisting. It quivered in terror, allowing Long Chen to put it away instantly. Once it was pulled into the primal chaos space, it didn't dare to move. It didn't even dare to release its aura. Originally, Long Chen hadn't wanted to pull the feather into the primal chaos space. That was because even he couldn't control the primal chaos space. For example, when he had subdued the dragon teeth, he hadn't pulled them into the primal chaos space. While he was the master of the primal chaos space, he couldn't control it. Anything that dared to go against his will would be annihilated by the primal chaos bead. The primal chaos bead had its own will, and it wasn't something that Long Chen could control. If the feather had continued resisting, the primal chaos bead would have destroyed it, wasting this treasure. If he hadn't been pressed for time by true immortal Jayaoki, Long Chen wouldn't have taken this risk. However, things had worked out. As soon as the primal chaos bead revealed its power, the feather immediately turned still. Brother Ziluo, I'm done, but you're not. Let me come help you. Long Chen laughed. Ignoring the furious true immortal Jayaoki, he charged at Ziluo, or more accurately, the blue eye peacock's corpse. Chapter 1835 Plucking a Bird's Feathers Translator Born to be Ziluo was doing his best to gather the corpse of the blue eye peacock. However, he didn't have a primal chaos bead. Only life star experts could condense their own astral space. As for spatial rings, there was no way ordinary ones could contain this corpse with its ferocious will. Although the blue eye peacock had long since died, it still had a remnant will that made it difficult to force it into anything. Ziluo was trying to pull it into his spiritual space, but it was difficult. He had already used a secret technique of the corrupt path to seal the blue eye peacock's crystal core, but he was still unable to move it quickly. Seeing Long Chen was coming to cause trouble, Ziluo was enraged. Long Chen, you dare, haha, <laughs> there's nothing I don't dare to do in this world, Long Chen laughed, instead of attacking Ziluo, he jumped onto the blue eye peacock's back and pulled on one of its giant feathers, Long Chen directly plucked off the giant feather, that feather looked almost identical to the feather he had obtained before, it was bright and multicolored and still retained a powerful aura, this feather was also a true feather, most blue eye peacocks only had a single true feather, but this one's cultivation base had already reached the peak of the 12th rank, and it had borne nine true feathers. It was just that of those nine true feathers, only one was the original true feather. That was the true feather that had accompanied it from the day it had been born. Inside were its inherited divine abilities, making it also called the inheritance true feather. The other eight true feathers were born later and those feathers were what this blue eye peacock had been planning on relying on to advance to the 13th rank. According to reason, having already reached the Samsara realm, this blue eye peacock should have reached the realm of being almost undying. Even if it failed its breakthrough, it could undergo nirvanic rebirth. It wouldn't die here, especially not with its essence blood and original true feather separated from it. That was very strange. Long Chen didn't have time to consider those things though. He also didn't know what these nine true feathers represented, but his intuition told him that these eight feathers on the corpse were definite treasures. Bastard. Ziluo roared. This corpse's feathers were very important. A portion of the blue eye peacock's power resided within its true feathers. Their divine marks were the foundation for its divine abilities. Don't be so emotional. It's just plucking a few feathers. Long Chen was as quick as lightning. Plucking the remaining seven true feathers in an instant, 
His efficiency sparked disbelief as he gathered the full set. It was unknown if it was because there was the original true feather in his primal chaos space, but those true feathers didn't resist when he plucked them. Just like that, they were gathered into his primal chaos space. Once the eight true feathers were plucked, the blue eye peacock dimmed. Its feathers lost their original splendor. It no longer looked as divine as before, and its aura weakened by over 50%. Die. An ancient halberd came piercing toward Long Chen's back. True immortal Jiaoki had arrived. To handle this attack, Long Chen's golden dragon tooth smashed into true immortal Jiaoki's halberd. A terrifying explosion erupted. Long Chen's hand split open, and blood poured out. Even having already summoned the green dragon battle armor, he was still injured and sent flying. With Long Chen and true immortal Jiaoki exchanging a fierce blow, the blue eye peacock's corpse was blown into the air. That delighted Ziluo. Before this, it had been impossible for him to budge the corpse at all. In the air, it could be easily pulled into his spiritual space. However, he was also infuriated because he knew the reason that it was blown into the air was because Long Chen had plucked its eight true feathers. In other words, having lost its eight true feathers, this corpse's power had sharply fallen. Ziluo formed a hand seal, causing the blue eye peacock to fly to him. Then, a blood color gate appeared behind him. That was his spiritual space. Don't be in a rush. Let me help. Long Chen couldn't snatch the corpse any longer. Having been blown back by true immortal Jiaoki, so he kindly shot a ball of black flames at it. Boom. The black flames exploded on the blue eye peacock, unleashing a wave that enveloped it. The berserk energy caused the entire nest to shake. Long Chen was actually using the black illusion dragon flame. The eruption of the flame sphere brought with it a wave of powerful spiritual strength that caused Ziluo's spiritual space to almost collapse. The shocking thing was that the blue eye peacock was actually ignited by the black flames. Its feathers were burned to ash. That shocked even Long Chen. Originally, he had just been planning on irritating Ziluo with this. It had merely been a probing blow. Who would have thought that the legendary blue eye peacock would be unable to resist the black illusion dragon flame? Its feathers were all incinerated. What they were unaware of was that the runes on those feathers were all linked to the nine true feathers. With the nine true feathers gone, the remaining feathers had lost their defensive power. As for the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, its power was definitely terrifying considering it was ranked second on the Earth Flame rankings. Long Chen, I will skin you alive. Flames almost spurted out of Ziluo's eyes. The Blue Eye Peacock had lost all of its feathers now. Many of its divine abilities had just been lost, and its value had dropped. Wow. The corrupt path's people are so ungrateful. I kindly plucked your chicken for you, so you can cook it easier. But instead of thanking me, you threaten me. The corrupt path is truly contemptible. Long Chen shook his head. At this time, true immortal Jiaoki was blocking his retreat path. His entire body was shining like gold. He trapped Long Chen between himself and Ziluo. He knew that Ziluo was even angrier than he was. Although he was also enemies with Ziluo, in comparison, Long Chen was his true target. If the two of them joined hands, there would definitely be no chance of Long Chen escaping. Capturing Long Chen related to obtaining the Blue Eye Peacock Essence Blood. The Blue Eye Peacock looked like a roasted chicken, and Ziluo looked like he was about to go crazy. The reason he so adamantly wanted this corpse was because he had a method to control it and activate the Blue Eye Peacock's divine abilities. Although they wouldn't be as powerful as when it was alive, he was confident in restoring 70% of its power. To have a peak 12th rank magical beast fighting for him, who would dare to resist? That beautiful dream had been ruined. Even if he did refine the corpse into a puppet now, he wouldn't be able to fly through the air on it like a divine steed. If he did, he didn't know how many people would laugh at him. Ziluo put the blue eye peacock's corpse into his spiritual space. Without the feathers, taking it was much easier. Blood runes began to revolve in Ziluo's eyes. A blood-colored figure condensed behind him. The sound of mournful wail shook the room. That blood-colored figure was sinister and terrifying. Looking carefully, it looked like a conglomeration of millions of life forms screaming and struggling in pain. When it appeared, the world also turned blood-colored. 
Ziluo was truly furious. In all his years, no one had dared to treat him like this. His killing intent sword. I need Long Chen's life. If we cooperate, we have to catch him alive, so I can search him for the essence blood. The rest of his belongings will be yours, shouted true immortal Jiaoki. To prevent the off chance of failure, he chose to join hands with Ziluo. Scram. Who do you think you are to cooperate with me? I'll kill Long Chen and refine him into a puppet so he'll be my eternal slave. At the same time as Ziluo shouted, the millions of devilish ghouls behind him also roared furiously. Boom. Ziluo's blood red saber suddenly pointed toward the sky. As a result, his saber image struck the barrier around the nest and caused it to quiver intensely. It then hacked down at Long Chen. Long Chen took a deep breath. His expression was serious. He put away the dragon tooth and took out Evil Moon. Evil Moon was in slumber and unable to help him. However, it was the weapon he was most used to using. Without a hilt, the dragon teeth weren't capable of unleashing his power. Even if Evil Moon was unable to help him, just its hardness and weight were enough. Five Star Battle Armor The power of his 108,000 stars erupted. Facing both Ziluo and true immortal Jiaoki, Long Chen couldn't hold back. A black saber image crashed into the blood red saber image. The entire nest quivered. Black and red energy appeared at the top of the nest. The experts within the nest were shaken. Although they didn't know what was going on, they felt terrifying auras rising. There are peak experts fighting. Hurry. Let's see just who is so terrifying. Chapter 1836 Each Harboring Sinister Intentions Translator Born to be black and red light collided against each other. When Long Chen's Evil Moon met Ziluo's blood-colored saber, the entire world suddenly dimmed. When Long Chen received Ziluo's attack, he found that Ziluo was also physically powerful, only a bit weaker than true immortal Jiaoki. Just as he was about to circulate his energy to force Ziluo back, his heart shook. Lightning flashed. Boom. A lightning barrier enveloped Long Chen, blocking a wave of bone needles. Ziluo had also launched his bone needle attack silently, and Long Chen had almost fallen for it. Long Chen unleashed a burst of power, forcing back Ziluo. Ziluo hadn't expected Long Chen's reaction speed to be so fast. He had launched an attack with his saber and his bone needles at almost the same time, but the light from his saber covered the bone needles. As for his furious expression from before, half of it was real, but half of it was fake. He had also wanted to capture Long Chen alive, not just for the true feathers but also to force Meng Chi to hand over the essence blood. Unfortunately, Long Chen's reaction speed was too fast. He had clearly had his attention focused on his saber but had still managed to force back the bone needles with a quick defense. Long Chen had just forced back Ziluo when a golden halberd stabbed toward Long Chen. Let's see just which one of us is stronger. Long Chen met the halberd with another slash of his saber. Boom. When Long Chen collided with true immortal Jiaoki's halberd, he felt like he had been struck by a star. He almost coughed up blood. Long Chen was startled. When true immortal Jiaoki was using his full power, he was actually so powerful. Long Chen was blown back. On the other hand, true immortal Jiaoki was only forced back a dozen steps. With each step, cracks appeared in the nest. Even this tough nest was unable to bear their power. True immortal Jiaoki stamped his foot on the ground, causing part of the nest to actually shatter. Only then did he manage to stabilize himself. When he looked back up, he saw that Ziluo had already shot after Long Chen. Long Chen repeatedly blocked Ziluo's attack 17 times, while lightning spurted out of his body, blocking the bone needles. The bone needles possessed both poison and curse energy. Once struck, it would gravely affect Long Chen's combat power. Then the battle would essentially be over. Good. I didn't think your body was so powerful. Your corpse is just as valuable as the blue eye peacocks. Ziluo smiled sinisterly as he attacked with his saber. Ziluo possessed a rare evil spirit body, which gave him an unmatched skill in controlling corpses. He was very interested in all powerful corpses. He could refine them into corpse puppets to be his subordinates. Ziluo found that Long Chen's value as a corpse was extremely great. His physical body wouldn't lose to true immortal Jiaoki who was from the Xuan Beasts. If he was refined into a puppet, 
he would be a fearless undying existence with amazing killing power. You're thinking too far, said Long Chen indifferently as he continued blocking with Evil Moon. His divine sense was also locked on to true immortal Jiaoki. After that first exchange, true immortal Jiaoki hadn't attacked again. He was calmly watching. That attack just now had been to test Long Chen's power. It could be said that they were relatively evenly matched in power, so neither one of them could suppress the other. True immortal Jiaoki was still angry with Zi Luo for not cooperating. Hence, he had given up that thought. He was now waiting for his opportunity to launch a fatal attack while Long Chen and Zi Luo fought. If he had a good opportunity, he wouldn't mind killing Zi Luo as well. Although the corrupt path and the Xuan beasts didn't interfere with each other's businesses, there was an eternal competition between heavenly geniuses. Any threats had to be eliminated as soon as possible. Seeing true immortal Jiaoki just standing there and watching coldly, Long Chen naturally knew what he was thinking. This was helping him greatly. He was fighting intensely against Zi Luo, while his divine ring was forcibly absorbing heaven and earth's energy to replenish his spiritual strength. Due to refining the dragon tooth and gathering the original true feather, Long Chen's spiritual strength had been exhausted to the point of affecting his combat power. Now he was quietly recovering while fighting. With the divine ring, the spiritual yuan he was using up was being replenished as quickly as he used it. Their fight was an intense one. Shocking explosions, saber images, and chi waves erupted over and over again. As their fight progressed, a few figures gradually appeared at the top of the nest. These were experts that had been exploring the nest. They hadn't found anything of value, but they had been drawn over by the terrifying auras coming from the top. True Immortal Jiaoki, Zi Luo, and Long Chen? Three monsters actually came across each other here, exclaimed an Empyrean from the ancient family alliance. More and more experts appeared. When they saw the three of them, they all gasped. These experts were all on guard against each other as well. The ancient races stood to one side, the corrupt path stood to another, while the righteous path hid in a corner. They were in no mood to start a fight. They were all watching Long Chen and Zi Luo fight. That Zi Luo is claimed to be the corrupt path's number one genius, the descendant of the corrupt path's leader, Zi Wentian. As for that monster of the Xuan beasts, he's the one who got fourth on the devil slaughter rankings. True immortal Jiaoki. Long Chen's definitely dead sneered an ancient race expert. The fact that Long Chen had slain Xiang Yunfei had infuriated the ancient races. They had publicly announced that they were splitting ties with the Martial Heaven Alliance and would no longer communicate with them. Although they hadn't started a war, their attitude was clear. Seeing Zi Luo fighting Long Chen with true immortal Jiaoki watching like a tiger lying in wait, those enemies of Long Chen were delighted. As for the Righteous Path's experts, they had gathered. There were over a hundred of them, with only a small portion being Empyreans. The majority were rank 9 Celestials. What do we do? Should we send a distress signal? Otherwise, senior apprentice brother will be in danger. An Empyrean sent a message to these experts. How would you send it? And to who? That Empyrean was struck speechless. Who would he send this distress signal to? Who would come to help Long Chen? Who actually had the power to help him? That was Zi Luo and true immortal Jiaoki. In front of them, even other Empyreans were cannon fodder. Fuck. Whatever. If Long Chen does end up in danger, I'll put my life on the line to help him escape. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is the only hope of the righteous path rising. If he falls, the righteous path will be doomed, said a rank 9 celestial suddenly. The rank 9 celestial's words moved all the people here. His cultivation base might be low. His combat power might be weak, but this heroism was moving. In the Great Era, all the various powers were soaring. The Corrupt Path, the Ancient Races, the Ancient Family Alliance, the Xuan Beasts. They were all giving birth to countless heavenly geniuses. Although the Righteous Path was also home to the birth of many heavenly geniuses, in comparison to the others, their power was clearly lacking. In the Righteous Path, Long Chen was the only one who could suppress all other heavenly geniuses, look down on all others in his generation, and be undefeated in the same realm no matter what monstrous geniuses he faced. In the eyes of many of the Righteous Path's disciples, 
Long Chen was an undefeatable legend. Although countless people were denouncing him in the world, it didn't affect Long Chen's particular charisma. Even as countless other heavenly geniuses were raised and monsters appeared, no one could shake him from his position as the number one figure of the righteous path. Even some people who had never seen Long Chen before also made their determination to help him escape even if they had to die. Brother, this courage of yours is admirable. If senior apprentice brother Long Chen is in danger, you can count me in. Another person is another chance of escaping, said an Empyrean. Count me in too. Me too. Over 30 experts made an agreement. As long as Long Chen was in mortal danger, they would work together. Even if they had to detonate their divine items, even if they had to detonate their own bodies, they would win Long Chen a chance to escape. He was the only hope of the righteous path. They were willing to use their lives to protect this hope. The other righteous experts were silent. However, a few looked at them disdainfully. Those were disciples of the sects that had betrayed the Martial Heaven Alliance. But even having left the Martial Heaven Alliance, they were still part of the righteous path. So they were standing with everyone else. If only one or two people were speaking up for Long Chen, they would definitely pour cold water on them to dispel their passion. However, there were too many of them now, so they didn't dare to provoke them. If they did, they might be killed. So they only sneered inside. As Long Chen fought Zi Luo, Zi Luo seemed to be repeatedly retreating, whether intentionally or not. It just so happened that Long Chen was being drawn further and further away from true immortal Jiaoki. Long Chen smiled coldly. It was just that he didn't bother exposing Zi Luo. He continued fighting within a small area, not forcing his way through. He was focused on recovering his spiritual strength. This is a battle of monsters? It doesn't seem as crazy as I imagined it. What's going on? Muttered some people inside. Although the battle looked intense with each move being extremely sharp. Such a battle didn't seem to fit with Long Chen and Zi Luo's level. True immortal Jiaoki was still watching coldly. He gripped his kill and halberd. He looked like a bird of prey focused on his prey. Boom. Suddenly, Zi Luo's blood red saber unleashed a burst of light. Its power surged, forcing Long Chen back. It's now. Zi Luo laughed. His Yuan spirit appeared out of his head, forming hand seals. Blood Chi surged into the sky. The void exploded, and one figure after another appeared. They were corpses wearing ancient robes, surrounding Long Chen, an evil glint in their eyes. Their terrifying auras made people shiver. Seal, Zi Luo shouted. Light erupted out of the corpse's eyes, weaving into a giant ball that trapped Long Chen. Chapter 1837 A Heaven Shaking Saber Translator Born to be 108 corpses had appeared at once. A white light shooting out of their eyes and wrapping around Long Chen like a giant cocoon. It happened so quickly that no one could react. Once Long Chen was caught in the cocoon, divine runes appeared on the corpses' hands, and they pressed against the cocoon. The blood-colored divine runes spread, covering the cocoon. They formed a million chains that fully sealed the cocoon. The cocoon had just appeared when it began to quiver. Clearly. Long Chen was fighting to break free inside. However, once those blood-colored chains covered the cocoon, it instantly became still. People were still shocked at the appearance of the corpses when the cocoon became still. There was no time for anyone to react. The righteous experts were dumbfounded, especially those that had sworn to protect Long Chen. They had thought that Long Chen would only be defeated when true immortal Jiaoki joined in on the fight. Their cultivation bases weren't high but they were confident that striking when true immortal Jiaoki joined in was the best time to save Long Chen. However, true immortal Jiaoki hadn't moved at all before Long Chen was simply sealed. There was no chance for them to interfere at all. Release Long Chen, or I'll cut off your head. Boom. Long Chen had just been sealed when a golden halberd pierced toward Zi Luo. True immortal Jiaoki was finally joining in. You want Long Chen? Keep dreaming. Long Chen's been sealed by my corpse spirit seal art. The corpse poison inside will quickly exhaust all his energy and make him a puppet. I will be his master, and his everything will belong to me, sneered Zi Luo. While fighting, he had been secretly laying down a barrier within an area. This was one of his unique abilities, and he was confident that no one else would recognize what he was doing. 
When Long Chen entered that area, he would trigger the barrier. The barrier was not an attacking or defending barrier, but a controlling barrier. It would make a person lose consciousness for just a moment. No matter how strong Long Chen's spiritual strength was, he would lose consciousness and have illusions invade his mind. This would only affect Long Chen for a blink of an eye, but that was enough to determine victory or defeat in a battle between experts. The instant Long Chen had lost consciousness, he had activated the corp spirit seal art that he had been preparing. This trap had been ready for a while now, but every time he had drawn Long Chen over to that area, Long Chen had inadvertently avoided it. Now, he finally stepped into it and was sealed. Now that Ziluo seal was complete, he no longer had to worry about Long Chen. He was sure no one could break out of his sealing art. At the very least, no one had ever broken out before. Ziluo met true immortal Jiaoki's halberd with his blood red saber. A powerful chi wave surged out. Powerful astral winds buffeted the spectators. It felt like knives were cutting their faces. The intensity of this one exchange was greater than Long Chen's fight with Ziluo. Could it be that Ziluo wasn't using his full power while fighting Long Chen? Only now is he using his real power. Startled cries rang out. Long Chen was sealed now, and Shu Eluo's fight with true immortal Jiaoki far surpassed Ziluo's fight with Long Chen in terms of power and aura. HMPH. Long Chen's fame is all fake. The reason he could fight so long with Zi Luo is just because Zi Luo wanted to capture him alive. Otherwise, Long Chen wouldn't even be able to receive 10 moves, sneered an ancient race expert, let alone 10 moves. He probably wouldn't even be able to take 3 moves. HMPH, the Righteous Path's number 1 expert was created through bragging it seems. He was just duping his own people. The Righteous Path has no top experts. Other experts added their own mocking voices as they looked at the Righteous Path's experts. If they weren't intent on watching this battle between peak geniuses, they might have even surrounded those Righteous Experts Noveloon.com Ziluo. I'll ask you one more time. Are you really not going to hand over Long Chen? Demanded True Immortal Jiaoki. What lands in my hands belongs to me. If you aren't smart, I won't mind adding you to my corpse collection as well. Sneered Ziluo. Then you can die. Drake power. True immortal Jiaoki suddenly shouted, and the Drake figure behind him grew explosively. The cry of a dragon could vaguely be heard. The golden light shining out of true immortal Jiaoki's body condensed entirely into his Killin halberd. You're the one who will die. Ziluo laughed sinisterly. The blood red figure of Ziluo's manifestation suddenly extended its arms into Ziluo. A sea of blood colored runes poured into his body. Evil spirit possession. Ziluo's body transformed, and he no longer looked like a desiccated corpse. He transformed into a normal looking person. As their power grew explosively, the ground beneath their feet began to constantly crack. This incomparably sturdy nest was unable to bear their power. Heavens, what kind of power is this? This nest was so tough that for them, a full strength attack wouldn't even be able to damage it. Now it was covered in cracks. Now is the best time to save senior apprentice brother Long Chen. One of the righteous experts suddenly charged into the battlefield heading for the cocoon. Taking advantage of when the two of them were fighting to save Long Chen. Following him, over 30 experts shot over. The divine items in their hands began to shine brighter and brighter. They had made their preparations to detonate their divine items. Their actions startled everyone. They hadn't thought that the righteous path's disciples which had always been cowardly like mice and never been united, would risk their lives to save Long Chen. Ziluo merely sneered disdainfully. This corpse spirit sealing art of his could not be broken through external power. Even he would need to undo the seal bit by bit. Even if the corpses guarding the cocoon couldn't stop them, they wouldn't be able to break the seal. In his view, they were sending themselves to their deaths. He ignored them and continued fighting true immortal Jiaoki. His fight with him was reaching a climax, and he couldn't be careless. Boom. Those righteous experts had just gotten close to the cocoon when a black saber image tore out of the cocoon. It pierced into the sky, tearing through the barrier around the nest. What that huge saber image possessed horrifying power. It slashed down like a celestial blade. Split the heavens seven. Following it was an explosive cry. The barrier around the nest exploded. 
the celestial blade slashed down at Ziluo and True Immortal Jiaoki mercilessly. True Immortal Jiaoki and Ziluo were both shocked, especially Ziluo. He had never thought that Long Chen would be able to break his seal. The truth was that Long Chen had long since seen through Ziluo's intentions. He had intentionally let himself be sealed. His spiritual strength had fully recovered, allowing him to use his trump cards at their full potential. He didn't fear this kind of sealing art. Just as the two of them reached a climax in their fight, Long Chen suddenly unleashed the forbidden seventh form of Split the Heavens. Back then, the old man had repeatedly warned him not to use the seventh form until he reached the Life Star Realm. Otherwise, he would become a cripple. However, Long Chen was extremely confident in his meridians. He had decided to take this risk to see if he could eliminate the two of them. The void exploded. Fragments of it transformed into dust. That terrifying barrier appeared weak in front of the seventh form of Split the Heavens. Ziluo and True Immortal Jiaoki's expressions changed. If they were struck by this saber, they would definitely die. Right now, their power was locked against each other. Whoever pulled back first would be struck and injured before the saber even arrived. Pull back together. Ziluo and True Immortal Jiaoki exchanged a look, and the light from their weapons erupted. Both of them hacked up blood, their faces turning as pale as paper. Just now, they had severed their own energy. Pulling it back would take too long. Severing their own power like this was a kind of taboo. It was very harmful to the body, equivalent to attacking oneself. However, even as they coughed up blood, they didn't hesitate. Their divine items blazed with divine light as they attacked Long Chen's saber image. At the same time, they retreated. In this scenario, they were unable to unleash even half their power. Who would foolishly stand there? They naturally chose to run. Boom. Their attacks instantly shattered upon contact with the celestial saber. The two of them once more coughed up blood and tumbled into the distance. The leftover power of the celestial saber crashed down where the two of them had been. The nest was cut through as easily as tofu. Originally, the place that Long Chen was at was near the edge of the nest. Now his attack had cut the nest cleanly in two. A huge ditch appeared, and it went so deep it was impossible to see the bottom. Everyone was struck dumb. They stared in shock at Long Chen. Long Chen looked like a god who had just walked out of the cocoon. His wild and domineering aura made their hearts turn cold. Holding Evil Moon, he circulated thunder force around his feet. He was about to shoot after the injured Ziluo and true immortal Jiaoki when his expression changed. Lai Long appeared, swallowing those disciples who had been trying to save Long Chen but were now struck dumb. As for Long Chen himself, Lightning wings appeared on his back. He shot away with Lai Long, vanishing from sight in an instant. Just as everyone was still confused as to why Long Chen was running, the nest exploded. Black Chi suddenly surged out of the bottomless ditch Long Chen had made. What is that? This Black Chi contained terrifying death energy. Large hands appeared, reaching out for them. Chapter 1838 Terrifying Black Hand Translator Born to be run Startled cries rang out. The black hands had an absolutely horrifying aura. Everyone instantly fled. These people were all experts amongst experts. They were extremely fast. But those hands were even faster. They began to grab experts. Ah, no. Anyone grabbed by those hands exploded into bits. Their Yuan spirits flew out of the remnants of their bodies and quickly withered into nothingness. Sounds of despair rang out. The nest had suddenly transformed into hell on earth. Long Chen hadn't gotten far when one of those large hands chased after him. Long Chen immediately felt a chill. This hand contained an indescribable energy that inspired terror. You guys run. I'll block this attack. Long Chen had Lai Long release those experts who had wanted to save him. That large black hand was slamming toward him. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Don't get emotional. Just run. Long Chen waved his hand, sending them flying away. He found that the black hand was locked onto him. Others could leave, but he couldn't. He wasn't sure, but it seemed that his attack had broken some kind of law in this place, causing the black hand to want to kill him. Even though he had been the first to run, he had not managed to reach a safe zone. That black hand was pouncing toward him. If he tried to block it, these experts would be killed by the shockwave. So he had them leave first. 
The black hand was even faster than he was. Taking a deep breath, Long Chen prepared to unleash the seventh form of Split the Heavens again. However, he had just activated his acupuncture points when he coughed up blood. Fuck. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. When he had used the seventh form of Split the Heavens before, he hadn't felt much. But now that he tried again, he suddenly found that his meridians were extremely weak. If he hadn't sensed this early enough and pulled back, his meridians would have all shattered. He hadn't listened to the old man's advice and had used the seventh form of Split the Heavens before reaching the Life Star Realm. Considering how powerful the seventh form was, he was lucky that his meridians had only been shaken. If it was anyone else, their meridians would have been destroyed. Damn, it's that corpse poison. I was actually poisoned Long Chen sensed his condition and was shocked to find that he had underestimated Zi Luo's corpse spirit sealing art. A portion of the corpse poison had bypassed his thunder force to invade his body without him being aware of it. Long Chen couldn't help being regretful over how he had tried to play a trick to kill the two of them. He had been too greedy. Instead of gaining any advantage, he had almost destroyed his meridians, had been poisoned and was now being hunted down by this hand. With his meridians damaged, Long Chen couldn't use his spiritual Yuan. His Yuan spirit came out. Double dragon destruction there were no other techniques he could use. He could only summon Lai Long and Huo Long. The two of them possessed their own stores of energy. However, without the support of his spiritual Yuan, their power sharply dropped. Boom. Lai Long and Huo Long were blown apart upon contact with the hand. The hand merely shook slightly, but it didn't stop. Fortunately, that was enough for Long Chen to escape its lock. He shot away, covered in sweat. That hand had made him smell the scent of death. That was the air of death, of darkness, of corrosion, of severing all life. That was something he had experienced once before. It was very similar to the air of the netherworld. Long Chen rapidly fled. He was gratified to see that hand begin to retreat after missing. It didn't attack again. It seemed it had a set attack range, and Long Chen had already escaped it. As for the righteous disciples, they cheered when they saw Long Chen escape alive. They had never imagined a peak expert like Long Chen would use himself to block a fatal attack for them. You guys should run. This place is too sinister. Brothers, thank you for your loyalty. I wish you well. Let us meet again. Long Chen waved to those people as he fled. He had no choice but to leave. The corpse poison was invading his body and weakening him. Otherwise, there was no way he wouldn't have noticed the problem with his meridians. This had all been too dangerous. His meridians had almost been shattered. If that happened, he would be crippled. Even if he had the primal chaos space, recovering from that would be almost impossible. That wasn't a problem with his physical body that could be instantly healed. If his meridians shattered, he estimated he would need at least the majority of the year to recover, during which time he couldn't fight. In the yin-yang world, let alone a condition in which he couldn't use his spiritual yuan, any condition that was not his peak condition was dangerous. So Long Chen really felt regretful. He had wanted to play smart and eliminate the two of them right then and there, but he had almost caused himself to die. That kind of foolishness wasn't something he wanted to repeat a second time. This kind of game wasn't fun at all. This time, he had experienced the terror of the seventh form of Split the Heavens. He had just used a rudimentary form of it, the simplest form with the least danger, but had still harmed his meridians. The old man had told him that when using the seventh form of Split the Heavens, connecting all the acupuncture points was just the first step. The next step was to reconnect the final acupuncture point with the Danshan and once more send the energy through the 63 acupuncture points. The energy added up but put even greater stress on the meridians. If he could do this seven times, then he would be able to unleash the full power of the seventh form of Split the Heavens. The first time he used the seventh form of Split the Heavens, his meridians had started to crack, but due to the corpse poison, he hadn't noticed. When he tried using it a second time, he had realized something was wrong and scattered his spiritual yuan, but that had still almost caused his meridians to explode. Looking at the distant nest, he saw the black hand slowly sink back underground. They were claws from hell that had slain people before returning to their home. 
I wonder if true immortal Jiaoki and Ziluo got away. Hopefully, they didn't have a good ending. Long Chen prayed for the two of them as he left. However, he knew that the two of them still had their own trump cards. They had definitely not used them during that battle. They had wanted to pay the lowest price and expose the fewest trump cards to achieve their goals. After all, there had been three of them there, and even if one of them was killed, the remaining two could spread information about the other's trump cards. It was precisely because he had seen this point that Long Chen had hoped to eliminate the two of them before they had unleashed their full power. If his attack had struck them at full power, it truly might have been able to kill the two of them but regretfully breaking through the barrier around the nest had slowed it down and given them enough time to defend. If he hadn't been poisoned and his meridians hadn't been harmed, right now would be the best time to hunt the two of them down. Regretfully, it seemed the heavens were against him. Long Chen flew away, consuming two medicinal pills used for expelling poison. These had been personally refined by him. Ziluo's corpse poison was extremely powerful. It would take time to expel it. More importantly, he also had to heal his meridians during this time. His meridians were only cracked right now, so healing them didn't take too long. Six hours later, Long Chen was able to just barely circulate his spiritual yuan, but he couldn't fight. Although this battle had been very dangerous, Long Chen still felt that it was worth it when he thought of the gains. Just the original true feather was enough to make countless heavenly geniuses go mad. Once Men Chi refined it, she would be able to activate the Blue Eye Peacock's divine abilities. That power wasn't something he could imagine. The most unexpected thing this time around was the existence of righteous experts that had risked their lives to try and save him. Furthermore, there had been over 30 of them that moved him. Perhaps the righteous path wasn't as bad as he thought. There were still many hot-blooded, righteous people within it. Not everyone was so foolish and not everyone was such a manipulator. This was his first time feeling that there were still many good disciples in the righteous path. As Long Chen flew, he spread his divine sense, avoiding any experts. After all, now wasn't a good time for him to fight. Long Chen. After a day, Long Chen arrived at a ravine. Men Chi had been waiting for him here, and she immediately threw herself toward him, hugging him. She had been very worried. Where is Cloud? Asked Long Chen after kissing her on the forehead. It had been a long time since she had been so intimate with Long Chen, causing Men Chi to blush slightly. Cloud has begun refining the marrow cleansing essence. She's in seclusion in my spiritual space. Good. Once Cloud's done, she can refine the blue eye peacock's essence blood. She'll have completely transformed. Long Chen nodded with a smile. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow and the blue eye peacock had originated from the same race. That essence blood was extremely helpful to her. Men Chi, let me give you a gift. Long Chen smiled and waved a hand. Nine beautiful feathers appeared in the air. Men Chi covered her mouth, staring at them with disbelief. Chapter 1839 Expelling Poison and Healing Injuries Translator Born to be the original true feather Novaloon.com Men Chi looked at it in disbelief. When Long Chen had been taking this feather, the space around him had been unstable, making her unable to see what had been within. Furthermore, she had been focused on the blood pool. This time, she immediately let out a startled cry upon seeing this treasure. Long Chen, thank you. Men Chi excitedly hugged Long Chen. These nine true feathers were treasures made in heaven for her. She had previously obtained 999 true feathers from the second level of the nest, but these nine were qualitatively on a completely different level. She had already refined those feathers and could use them as flying swords, but these nine true feathers could be used to unleash powerful divine abilities. She would only be able to tell how strong they were once she refined them. Just as Men Chi anxiously tried to take the true feathers, the original true feather began to resist again. Its aura began to rise. Long Chen snorted and was about to unleash the pressure of the primal chaos bead to suppress it when he was stopped by Meng Chi. This original true feather contains the blue eye peacock's will. It can't be subdued with brute power. Even if you do suppress it temporarily, it won't stay suppressed for a lifetime. It would rather self-destruct if you force it. Leave it to me. I'll have it slowly get used to me, said Meng Chi confidently. 
Long Chen nodded. Meng Chi was much more skilled in this regard and never acted crazily like he did. If she said that she could do this, there would be no problem. Long Chen summoned Huo Long to protect them. Lai Long had already used up too much energy and needed to rest. While Meng Chi tried to communicate with the original True Feather, Long Chen began to expel the poison and heal his meridians. This wasn't his first time dealing with poison, but it was his first time encountering a poison that could enter his body through his thunder force without him being aware of it. I suppose it's to be expected of the legendary evil spirit body. Although I don't understand it too well, it definitely looks bad as expelling this corpse poison was proving to be very difficult. It had actually invaded his spirit blood, spiritual yuan, and even his soul. He needed to erase it bit by bit. Long Chen was quite surprised. Fortunately, he had noticed this poison soon enough, or it might have paralyzed him. Ziluo was even more dangerous than true immortal Jiaoki, as this kind of silent danger was much worse than true immortal Jiaoki's fierce attacks. Three days later, Long Chen had finished expelling the corpse poison and repairing his meridians. However, he no longer dared to test using the seventh form of Split the Heavens. It really wasn't something he was capable of controlling yet. Unless he had no other choice, he definitely wouldn't try using it again. After using it, his meridians would be unable to endure any more impact for a while. He would be powerless to keep fighting. He looked at Meng Chi and saw that she had long since woken up. She was looking at him while leaning her head in her hands. When he opened his eyes, she blushed like a maiden. Meng Chi, what evil did you commit in your last life? Sighed Long Chen. What are you talking about? For a fairy like you to suffer by an ordinary man like me, you must have committed quite a few sins in your last life, or this would have to be the luck of several of my lifetimes to end up with you, said Long Chen. He brushed Meng Qi's cheek lightly. Meng Qi smiled faintly. She rebuked. Is this how you tricked the others? I Long Chen raised three fingers. Fool, I'm teasing you. What are you swearing for? Meng Qi pulled Long Chen's hand down and tapped him on the forehead. He, it's because I've already said everything I have to say to you. You're the one who understands me the best, said Long Chen. These were the words of an expert, especially the word best. It was practically divine. Naturally, women liked to be unique and unrivaled. This best made all the women beside him feel special and irreplaceable. Meng Qi cuddled next to Long Chen. Her fragrance filled his nose. Long Chen tightly held her, feeling peaceful and content. Meng Qi, I feel like as long as you're with me, even hell would be a wonderland. Liar, I won't fall for it. Although Meng Qi said that, she held him tighter. Suddenly, Meng Qi pushed Long Chen away in a panic. She turned around, her face redder than ever. Even her ears were red. What is it? You, you, you've reacted. Long Chen immediately felt embarrassed. He took a few deep breaths forcing down the swelling that had occurred without his knowledge. Meng Chi, have you finished refining the blue eye true feathers? Asked Long Chen to change the subject. Meng Chi smiled happily. Suddenly, 999 true feathers appeared in the air, each one of them emitting a sharp air. How powerful! Long Chen was amazed. Each of these feathers gave him a great deal of pressure. These true feathers came from 999 different blue eye peacocks. The power of their cultivation bases is condensed within them. Although they're already dead, I can use my spiritual strength to activate their own innate attacks. The power of that innate attack is equivalent to 30% of their power when they were still alive. Although it's just 30%, when all 999 of them are added together, although I haven't tested it, that power will definitely be amazing. Meng Chi excitedly held Long Chen's hand. She truly adored these beautiful true feathers. Long Chen was stunned by this. If she could unleash 30% of the power of a living blue eye peacock, then when 999 of them were combined, it would definitely be a stunning sight. Then what about the original true feather and the eight other true feathers? Have you refined those yet? Asked Long Chen. Those were even more priceless. Not yet. I can only slowly pacify them and win their trust. Otherwise. There'll be no way for me to control them. It shouldn't be a problem though. Once Cloud finishes refining the blue eye peacock essence blood, she can help me, and things will become much easier, said Meng Chi. 
the 999 true feathers vanished. Although they had been refined by her, to use them at will would require her to nourish them with her spiritual strength. Is Cloud fine still? Asked Long Chen. There's no problem. As a cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow, she has a definite bloodline connection to the blue eye peacock. So the essence blood doesn't reject her. Once she manages to refine that essence blood, not only will her own bloodline mutate, strengthening her innate divine abilities, but she might even gain the divine abilities of the blue eye peacock. Regretfully, there is no image of the blue eye peacock on the myriad spirit diagram, or Cloud would be able to control even more divine abilities, said Menchi regretfully. Careful not to get too greedy, teased Long Chen. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow's inheritance is already powerful enough. It's not at all inferior to the blue eye peacock. As long as Cloud can master the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race's divine abilities, that would be enough for her to look down on the rest of the world. After all, the words heaven swallowing expression represent a kind of taboo you are correct Men Chi nodded. It's just too bad that you didn't get anything from the nest. All the benefits went to me and Cloud. Long Chen had worked in the nest entirely for her and Cloud, even injuring himself without obtaining anything. Who said I didn't benefit? At the very least, I've gotten a good estimate of Ziluo and True Immortal Jiaoki's true power, said Long Chen. Bringing up Ziluo and True Immortal Jiaoki made Men Qi's expression darken. The two of them are real monsters. Experts on that level don't have any weaknesses. Men Qi's spiritual strength was essentially useless against the two of them, making her feel profoundly powerless. After entering seclusion a while ago, she had reached the point of having her manifestation begin to awaken. Her Yuan spirit had grown stronger, and her spiritual strength had multiplied. At the same time, Cloud's own power had grown explosively, that had made her extremely confident. But this confidence was given a grave blow as soon as she entered the yin yang world. Long Chen, are they stronger than you? I can't say. Neither of them exposed their true power or trump cards. However, I did the same. So we can't say who's stronger or weaker. But you don't need to worry. I definitely wouldn't fear fighting either one of them. I'll probably just be at a disadvantage in a two against one. The two of them were truly powerful and none of them had wished to expose their trump cards. Those were the tools they would need to kill their opponents. The two of them were definitely the most powerful opponents Long Chen had seen so far. You don't need to worry about them. Now you have the true feathers, and Cloud's power will definitely soar once she finishes refining the essence blood. You'll then definitely be able to fight people like them. Even if you can't beat them, you should be able to escape. Comforted Long Chen. Speaking of which, what about everyone else? How are they doing? Asked Long Chen. Chapter 1840 Returning to the Mysterious Mountain Range Translator Born to be only now did Long Chen have time to ask about the Dragonblood Legion. Men Chi, Tang Wan'er, and the others had finally come out of seclusion, with their manifestations reaching an initial awakening level. With that, their control over Heavenly Tao energy had reached a whole new level. With the help of the Blood Essence Stones and Blood Soul Stones, their physical bodies and souls had also grown much stronger. Not long after they came out of their seclusion, they rushed over to the Yun Yang world. Before Long Chen had entered, Hu Jinying had sent the Zhuanshan Dao sect a message that all Dragon Blood warriors were to charge into the Yun Yang world. By the time they arrived, the gate to the Yun Yang world had been fully opened and it did not require nether passage experts to exhaust their life and death energy to send them in. However, even before they entered the Yun Yang world, the Dragonblood Legion had ended up having a fight with a group of experts from the Ancient Family Alliance. When Long Chen had slain Xiang Yunfei, the Ancient Family Alliance had broken ties with the Martial Heaven Alliance. Although they had yet to express any hostility, it was very heavily implied. At that time, the ancient family alliance had had a group of dozens of Empyreans, as well as experts from the ancient races that had come. They had blocked the path of the Dragonblood Legion, telling them to scram, even yelling obscenities at Men Chi, Chu Yao, and the others. The furious Tang Wan'er had been the first to attack. She had directly slain one of the Empyreans of the ancient family alliance. As a result, 
A huge battle erupted. Hundreds of powerful experts had tried to kill the Dragonblood Legion. Under Xia Chen's orders, the Dragonblood Legion had instantly surrounded those people. In just a few seconds, they had been slain. From start to finish, it had just been a few breaths time. Those experts that had provoked the Dragonblood Legion were all slaughtered. The other experts that had been present at that time were all pale with horror. That was because the ones that had slain those powerful experts were the ordinary warriors of the Dragonblood Legion. Chu Yao, Meng Qi, Tang Wan'er, Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, and the others hadn't attacked. Just the ordinary Dragonblood warriors were able to kill those attackers, including the dozens of Empyreans. Those powerful Empyreans appeared to be weaklings in front of the Dragonblood warriors. They couldn't even resist. Through Xia Chen's arrival and training, the Dragonblood Legion had truly become extremely terrifying. These experts had wanted to take advantage of the Dragonblood Legion since they didn't have many Empyreans and Long Chen wasn't present, destroying the name of the unrivaled Legion. However, unexpectedly, these people had ended up being a training opportunity for the Dragonblood Legion and were annihilated. Other than Guo Ran and Xia Chen, everyone was shocked by their power, including the Dragonblood warriors themselves. They hadn't expected their new formation to be so powerful. Guo Ran and Xia Chen had cheered excitedly, especially Guo Ran. Countless people had witnessed that brief fight, and others who had thought about fighting them immediately retreated with dismay. Upon entering the Yun Yang world, Guo Ran decided not to have everyone split up so that they wouldn't encounter any of the peak experts present. As long as the Dragonblood Legion didn't spread out, they wouldn't need to fear any experts. Such a terrifying Legion was enough to sweep through the Yun Yang world. However, of their top experts, several had left. Yu Zifeng had left on his own. No one had ever managed to figure out his true power. The Dragonblood warriors all thought that Yu Zifeng was the strongest existence in the Dragonblood Legion after Long Chen. Once Yu Zifeng left, Meng Qi had also chosen to depart. She had clout, and she herself was a powerful soul cultivator. Adding on Cloud's power and speed, she would be able to escape alive no matter who her enemy was. It was just that having entered the nest, there had been nowhere for her to go. The twisting paths meant that Cloud couldn't take advantage of her speed. Since Men Chi had wanted to go, Chu Yao also chose to leave. Lu Ruyan had said that she sensed something in the Yun Yang world calling out to her, so she wanted to search for it. Thus, the Dragonblood Legion was currently being led by Tang Wan'er, Xia Chen, Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan. Although it was a bit inconvenient for over 10,000 people to be traveling together, it was safe. With so many people, they definitely wouldn't overlook anything while searching through the Yun Yang world. As for whether they could find any treasures, that was entirely up to luck. Even if they couldn't find any treasures, considering Guo Ran's nature, Conveniently plundering others was definitely possible. Long Chen truly understood Guo Ran far too well. If he couldn't find any treasures, he would definitely send a small group of the Dragonblood warriors out to cause some trouble and parade themselves around, baiting their enemies to attack them. Then the entire Legion would come crashing down on them, and if they didn't hand over their treasures, Guo Ran would teach them why flowers were red. Long Chen nodded once Men Qi had finished speaking. Yu Zifeng and Chu Yao should be fine on their own. If Men Qi hadn't been unlucky and encountered true immortal Jiaoki, she also would have been fine. As long as they didn't encounter experts on the level of true immortal Jiaoki and Ziluo, they would definitely be safe. Encountering experts on that level wasn't so easy. Opportunity existed within danger. Without taking risks, there was no way of gaining anything. Taking risks was in itself a kind of cultivation. Long Chen, do you feel like that nest was very strange? Asked Meng Chi suddenly, while soothing the blue eye peacock's original true feather. I used a secret art from the myriad spirit diagram that can quickly soothe souls. However, the will of the blue eye peacocks will contain endless grievance and resentment. It seems it died in an extremely miserable way, causing its will to be very fierce. It took me a long time to calm it down, through its will. I could almost see how it was cruelly slain, its essence blood extracted, and its true feathers plucked. Menki's own voice contained a bitter tone. 
Although she hadn't managed to see the complete scene, she had managed to glimpse some memories of the Blue Eye Peacock right before its death. The original true feather in Menke's spiritual space buzzed as if resonating with Menke's words and emotions. Menchi once more used her spiritual strength to comfort it. This original true feather might not contain its own intelligence, but it contained a portion of the blue eye peacock's will from right before its death. It truly was very strange. When I broke the nest, black hands came out of the ground and killed the experts present. According to you, that blue eye peacock in the nest was slain by others, and its essence blood, corpse and original true feather were deliberately separated Long Chen suddenly slapped his leg and exclaimed, Wait, it seems there were some faint fluctuations at the top of those three spots. Most likely, it was the formation supporting those three things. The hands didn't come out because I broke the nest, but because I broke the barrier Long Chen nodded with comprehension. He had felt that the nest was very strange, but he hadn't managed to figure it out. But through Men Qi's reminder, he was sure that this place was artificially made. It's too bad Xia Chen isn't here. With his understanding of formations, he might be able to see some clues, said Meng Qi. This formation was most likely absorbing heaven and earth's energy to support the corpse, essence blood, and true original feather. That appearance it was like, raising pigs. Meng Qi and Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. If their guess was correct, then this yin-yang world was not a masterless world. They were stealing treasures that others were nourishing and raising. If the master of those treasures were to learn of their actions, what would occur? Is the yin-yang world really the land of some major figures? Men Qi's voice quivered slightly. If that really was true, how terrifying did the master of the yin-yang world have to be? Let's not bother with that so much. Perhaps the master already died a long time ago. Even if they haven't, we should still take these things. It's always the most daring people who have the most gains. I've even dared to take the things of a Yama king. So who cares? Come, I'll bring you to a good place, said Long Chen with a smile. Where? Are we not going to regroup with the Dragonblood Legion? Asked Meng Chi. They have Guo Ran leading them, so they'll be fine. Furthermore, they also have a formation grandmaster like Xia Chen present. I'm not worried about them. Long Chen began to fly away with Meng Qi. With Cloud refining the essence blood, they could only fly themselves. I found a mysterious place previously. Let's go see if we can get anything from there. They quickly arrived at an unending mountain range. When Meng Qi saw those terrifying 12th rank magical beasts spread throughout this territory, she shivered. What are you thinking of doing? Just picking out a couple steeds for you. Don't joke around. With my spiritual strength, there's no way I can suppress a 12th rank magical beast. It's definitely impossible before breaking through to the life star realm. We'll just try. I happen to be the king of these beasts. When they see me, they don't even dare to make a sound. Even if I kick them, they won't say anything. Long Chen patted his chest confidently. Men Qi definitely didn't believe such nonsense. But as Long Chen led her deeper, she saw more and more 12th rank magical beasts standing even closer to each other. She felt like she was going crazy. If they were to startle these magical beasts, not even 10,000 lives would be enough to escape from here alive. The most unbelievable thing was that Long Chen actually brought her to a giant snow wolf. He actually brought her right in front of its face. What are you doing? Meng Chi was pale with fright. Long Chen jumped onto the wolf's back and Men Qi felt like her heart had stopped beating. It's fine. This is my old friend. This was the wolf that Long Chen had encountered before. Seeing Long Chen return with another person, it glanced at him for a moment before closing its eyes again. Long Chen brought the stunned Men Qi up the wolf's head. He patted its head. Brother, can you stand for me? We're not high enough to see the amazing scenery.